Thank you.
Yes, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Crafters TV, brought to you by Crafters Companion. My name is George Aiken, and for the next three hours, we are getting our master class on. Yes, we're taking a deep look, all embossing folders and stencils. It's going to be a great master class. Three hours, great deals for you in the show, and some great tips and techniques uh, to get you the best out of all your stencils and your embossing. But there's only one person who can get us through that. It is the man himself. It's the one wonderful Craig hello Craig hello how you doing George very good mate good? thank you yes. yes me too I am raring to go do you know what I'm kind of liking coming in later on in the day yeah. you know I'm not going to say I had a long life if you've seen my uh, insta story from this morning you'll see I was uh, doing some work and doing some prep and well let's just say my hair wasn't looking like this at the time that's for sure but yeah really really enjoying being in later on in the day but what we do what we're here to do, and that's show you what we're going to be doing within the masterclass. Let's have a look. Yes. This is all about our embossing folders. 3D embossing folders, cut and emboss folders. But it's not just that, George. Mm -hmm. We've got stencils on the show. So we've got 7x7 seven seven stencils. We've got Mahusev 12x12 12 12 stencils. And then we've got something that I have never actually done a show on yet. What's that? And that is our silhouette. Wow. So this is our stamping stencils. Yes. So we've got these on the show as well. Look at these. So they have been featured on shows such as like Wake Up Call yeah. that I've been on, but I've never actually demonstrated them. So this is the sort of thing that you can do. But then if we have a look at the seven by stencils that we're also going to have a look at as well, look at the sort of things that you could be doing here. So this is an emboss that you can see on here. Love it. On to black, but multicolored but then look at the monochromatic look that you can nice. get so we're going from white onto black and then coming all the way along changing it to black onto white and to think that is printed paper all that is is our white smooth stamping card and our black matte card stock that's all yeah and then so so simple I done this on a show oh, a good good few months ago maybe actually not even that so simple to do that ombre effect with some of the inks that we've got on the show as yeah. well. Mats and layers, strips, panels, sentiment, done. Yeah. Looks phenomenal. So we're going to have a lot of fun over three hours. It's just me and George for three hours. We're going to be having a look at the embossing folders, cutting and emboss, stencils, stamp and stencils as well. It's going to be a lot of inky fun. It is indeed. Uh, loads coming up for you as well today. Don't forget, 6 p.m. Uh, here in the UK, 1 p.m. over on the East Coast, Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Myself and Debbie Robinson are going to be here for your launch party, launching that brand new craft kit, uh, box number 45. It's going to be launching this evening, this afternoon. And don't forget as well, on the website, it's Tenor Tuesday. That's right. Uh, some great crafting items for you on crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu for just £10, $10. Have a look on the website. We're showing you 
showing you some of those a little bit later on in the show and those wonderful £10 items head to the website remember as well we want you to get involved in the show you can comment below on YouTube and Facebook loads of you saying hello today already uh, loads of you getting in touch with you wherever you are in the world why is it whenever I go say hello everything just goes no we're not playing game now and you go yeah okay fine uh, loads of you getting in touch and I will say hello to you when my lovely tablet is living but this is about embossing it's about stenciling there's so much with it and first of all we're going to be looking at these now not only are they an embossing folder they are also a cutting folder as well they've got the die cut element within these i mean these are a great little bundle which i know so many of you love they only launched um a few weeks ago uh, but they are here again and you already adore them because they are brilliant indeed now you used to be two separate uh, bundles but however we've bunched them all together a great price then now when we talk about slimline cutting and embossing this is what we mean if you take a closer look at this you can see it here with these wonderful little butterflies now now you can see in the embossing folder these uh, lighter grey lines well that is your die cut element yes indeed if we open it up you can see it there you not only have you got embossing you've also got die cutting as well allowing you to give you little butterflies little flappy wings here for you uh, this is the wonderful butterfly delight and that is the same within all of these all you've got the embossing and you've got the dying cut as well the flourishing flowers you've also got it here with the spring blooms interlocking circles i mean that is just brilliant you've also got it here with the entwined hearts you've also got it with the interlocking squares i mean that's just so 60s the square chevrons happy hearts and finishing off his collection the uh, pretty poker dots 87.69 $99.15 saving yourself 35% you can buy them uh, in a smaller areas three for 33 pounds 38 dollars but the best deal you're gonna get the best bundle is that one there where you're saving yourself 35% don't forget as well your club inspired discounts on top of this your platinum price you get an extra 20% off if you're platinum 70 pounds at 15 79 dollars 32 we've also got these brilliant 3d frame embossing folders I launched these back with Craig on the 25th of January uh, Again, they, so hi, how you doing, how you doing? You're right, good to see you. Uh, loads of love for these at the time because there was something so unique, I say unique, however, the different size embossing folders that you get in this is just incredible. You've got in here a great selection of embossing folders. So you're starting off here with a fancy floral wreath. You've got it there at that five, I want to say five, 5.5 by 5 point inches uh, it's a great little collection that you absolutely love now these are 3d embossing folders which our lovely craig will tell you more about 3d embossing folders uh, again a great little collection you've also got it here with the elegant frame trio again now giving you that tall slim card all with that embossing features you've also got the exquisite blooms nice little uh, a5 card for you and then finishing off this collection elegant and tangled roses again an a6 collection that is just four of the wonderful uh, embossing folders within here you've also got the luscious lilies elegant florals swirling lace classic lace you've also got it with a lovely lace back to this slimline embellished lace intricate filigree filigree and the elegant swirls again 25 percent off on this bundle uh, you can buy these individual and remember you spend 40 pounds 40 dollars you're going to get 10 percent off however just bear that in mind here in the uk especially if you're spending 40 pounds 40 dollars uh in, in your pounds for just a few extra pennies 53 pounds and 49 for that full bundle a great saving of 25 percent uh guys remember a great collection and you know the 3d embossing folders really do take embossing to that next level they take it to the 3d level but i think it's time as it is a masterclass we have a look at some of this stuff in action craig what are you going to be showing us first Right, what we are going to do is we're going to do a very simplistic card, but one that gives you that wow factor, and it's what's called letter pressing. We're going to use some inks, and it's simply by putting the ink on one side of the folder, running it through with your cardstock, as you would usually do with your embossing folders, and what happens, depending on what size you put the ink, that ink, that colour, is then going to transfer through onto your cardstock hence given a letterpress technique.
Now, first of all, what we're going to do is let's just have a wee look at our embossing folders, have a wee chat around it, because we've had recently so many new viewers at yeah. Crafters TV, thanks to having our friends popping along, such as Tonic and Lisa, uh, we've got Keith and also the guys from Be Creative. So, many of you will be familiar with an embossing folder, so many of you will be familiar with a 3D embossing folder. But what it is, it is a piece of plastic, it's on a hinge, and what you've got is you've got a design on both sides, but one of them is raised. So this side here with these lilies, so this one here is the luscious lilies, so this design here is raised up. Now if I go to the opposite side, it's the exact same detail, but what it is, is it's downwards, it's embossed. So therefore, what happens is the detail on this side, it transfers through onto the opposite side with your card in the middle, and therefore it pushes the design all the way through. What you'll find is there are so many 2D embossing folders. What that means is the design, it, it's raised, but it's all on one level. But with these ones here, which are a 3D embossing folder, you've got a multitude of layers. So you've got some that are really, really shallow within the leaves, but then you've got some of the foliage that's slightly higher up. Then you've got some of the petals that are even more higher up. You've got little pinpoint details. You've got some of the stamens that are even higher. So this is what's causing and creating that 3D effect. You've got multitude of layers and that really does help to enhance it. So all that we're going to do is we're going to run it through our cardstock. And what I'm going to do, George, is I'm going to use our white cardstock. Yeah. I am using watercolour cardstock, but that's only because I like the textured look that you get to it. You could use your white smooth stamping card if you want to, but I'm not adding any water, nothing like that. The only reason I am using watercolour card is for that textured effect. And then to do our letterpress technique, we need some ink. Now, I'm going to be using my pigment ink pad. This is the Plum Jam. We've got these in a bundle today. What I will say is some of the colours, for instance, this one, may stain your folder. Don't worry about it. As long as you give it a clean with your water, you know, lukewarm water or a baby wipe, that's all that you need. It may stain it, but it's not going to affect future embossing. So don't worry about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide I want to put my ink on the side that is lower down. So the detail is into my cardstock. So I'm going to come in with my ink and I'm going to dab it, I'm going to rub it, I'm going to roll it as long as I get that ink on. And if you go smooth across, you'll get a smooth design but then if you then tap it you're going to get textured look from the ink pad so you decide on what you want to do yeah. so all that I'm going to do is I'm going to dab to try and get more of a smooth flow and what's happening is you can see it now the ink is staying on all the flat plastic yeah. but where you've got all that design you are getting some ink in there. The heavier you push the ink pad, the sponge is going to push into the design. Yeah. But you can decide, do you want it to be really, really strong? Do you want it to be lighter? If you want more of the florals to then be quite uh, strong in colour, you can do that. So then what I'm going to do, I'm not worried about the ink transferred on the opposite side because we're not going to see the opposite side. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, and at this point, try and keep it as straight and still as possible so that the card doesn't move and therefore the ink won't move and smudge. So I'm doing it onto the clean side first. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to take a hold of it and we're holding it like so. Yeah. And with our 3D embossing folders, George, it's our base cutting plate. It's our magnetic shim, and then it is our plastic shim. And that's for the 3D embossing. Folks. That's for the 3D. So right. it doesn't matter whether it's six, uh, five and a half by five and a half embossing folder that this one is, a DL one. It doesn't matter if it's a 3D embossing folder, that's the plate configuration you need. So what I can then do is I'm going to turn it over. So this is the deboss side. So 
this isn't ink, so don't think, oh, he's done it wrong, so yeah. don't worry about that. So if I lift this one up, that's the deboss side. So can right. you see all of the detail? This is now pushed yeah. into the card. That looks lovely. That looks really lovely. But then look at that. Oh, wow. That's look great. at that. So what works really, really well is, because I went a little bit heavy handed, you see how the ink has picked up in some of the petals of the florals, of the lilies, and it just it, it enhances it, yeah. it shapes it, and it works an absolute treat. What you could do, and we'll be doing things like this later on, because I've used a pigment ink pad, which is the plum jam. Yeah. Actually, do you know what? Let's do it now. Okay. Let's do some embossing with our embossing powder. The pigment ink pad, it's what stays open longer. It stays sticky. Now, not sticky as in if I put my hand on, it's going to stick to it. Yeah. But powder will stick to it. So if I bring in a clear embossing powder, so I'm just looking for a clear one just here. Let's have a look in my stash that I've got in my Tiffany bag. Let's have a look. So I've got a clear one. So let's have a look. That's white. That's clear. That's a clear one. Perfect. Now what you want is you want a clear one because you want that colour to come through. Yep. But what it's going to do is it's going to give it a bit of an enamelled sort of look, a plastic or a, a, an enamelled coating, basically. So what I'm going to do is with my clear embossing powder, I'm going to go over, and then we're going to sprinkle. So we're going to go on, sprinkling it up, and then I'm going to tap it underneath just to spread it out. And then you'll see it's gone a bit cloudy now. It's gone a bit hazy. And yeah. that's because there's a layer of powder. So I'm then going to come along. I'm going to make sure that I pop all the excess powder back into the tub so we don't waste it. And then what we can do is the fun part. Now, you are going to see this pop as I do this because of the plum jam colour. So all that I'm doing is I get my heat tool so I want to get this to temperature first so I'm switching it on and then I'm just getting it to temperature now it only takes seconds and that's it once it's to temperature I'm going to come back in and the key to this as well stay maybe about uh, I would say about an inch and a half two inches away from your cardstock start in one area and work your way along as soon as it melts move if you stay on it too long it will bubble and it will smoke and that's not what you want to do so what we're going to do is start here work our way along and as it starts to melt it will continue to melt it gives it a helping hand so we're starting up into here and then work our way so once it starts to, you can see it deepening in color already so work our way along and as i say this thing gives it a gloss feeling and a gloss look so again working our way and then as it melts we're continuing all the way along and then what I'll do is once I get to the halfway point I will stop and then let you see the difference and this technique this is one of the techniques that got so many people into crafting They've maybe seen it at a craft fair or a, a crop or anywhere like that and you thought wow and this is what got many people into crafting so i'm going to stop there just for a second and then we can see our line down here so this side is melted this side is to be melted and then we're going to look at that we've got that glaze effect on this side. I'm trying not to touch this too much because I don't want to move the powder, but if we go from up above and then you'll see straight on in a moment, we'll see it just in a second. Look at that. Look at that. It gives it that sort of wet look. It absolutely does, Georgina. It's as if, as if it has been raining and you've got that wet, but however, it's not, it still look warm, but it's melted, it's clear, it's all good. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish the rest off. So what we can then do is then continue from where we've gone, work our way along, keeping a couple of uh, inches away. And it 
helps itself. So as it starts to melt, the surrounding powder starts to melt, which therefore helps to melt the rest. So we can carry on, we work our way round, following all the way down, work our way. Now the white areas with the lilies, that is technically uncoated, that's still the white cardstock, therefore you can then come along and then you can then come along and then add additional inks if you want to. So what we can then do, we can then go out, bring that into here, moving it out the way just for a second. So uh, you don't really need to move out of the way because you can't see it, but to go on to the next bit, we'd move it out of the way, but look at that. We've got that glossed effect, got that shiny effect. Yep. You can see there, look at that. Love absolutely that. Absolutely glorious, absolutely love that. So then what we can do is, let's make something with it, George. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take just a bit of kitchen roll just to clean this bit off here. Yeah. And I've got a couple of layers already cut. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've taken some cardstock from the Bell Countryside, and I've also taken some of the mixed card as well. And then what we can do is I've taken some ribbon and what I need to do is let's layer this one up. Our tape runners will work, yep. even although you've got a lot of layers to it. You'll see in a moment, my other layers, I've been using my double-sided tape. So I'm, go I'm gonna continue with that, simply because that's usually my, ch my choice of adhesive. Yep. So I'm gonna layer all of these up first, so we can come in. and. Even if you wanted to only matte and layer onto this sort of gorgeous um, sort of burgundy colour, maybe you only want to layer onto the silver, yep. that's up to you. You don't need to do much at all, but I can press that one in. Yes. And then what I'm also going to do is I've got another finished sample that looks very much like this. Okay. But it's using one of our metallic pigment ink pads nice. we've got on the show today. We've got loads on the show today. We really, really do. So that's why I've been wanting to mix them up slightly. Yeah. So I'll show you this when finished and we'll show you the um, metallic pigment ink pad. Yeah. So what I've done is I've added a strip of red liner tape and then I'm going to go all the way across. And you don't need to break this design up, but by doing this, it does that. And we're going to add a pre-stamped sentiment. Please always secure your ribbon afterwards. It is a personal choice. Yep. So, you know, the only reason I say is please do that, just to make sure that your ribbon stays in place. It doesn't do it any harm whatsoever Absolutely. to secure it. The last thing you want to do is spend time making a card and because you've only added a piece of adhesive underneath the ribbon to secure yeah. it you don't want it to pop out so as you see loads say, of love for this craig loads of love and there uh, evelyn's gone this is my favorite folder out of the whole set it's absolutely it's beautiful gorgeous. and she's put them straight in the basket <laughs> gilmore's gone oh okay these are going to my cart uh, loads of you getting in touch today uh jitter in germany golden tag says hello uh, jackie good morning from farmville texas evelyn good morning from colorado get crafty from felix down here in the uk uh pammy craig's happy to see you hi george uh, uh not pammy craig her name's pammy she's going great happy to see you uh, so <laughs> Thank you. Afternoon, loads of you getting in touch, and loads of you never, a lot of few people have never seen a full uh, page getting embossed before. Because when we've seen it, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, when we see embossing, we see, yes. yeah, such a large area. We've ne I've never seen that before. A lot of you have seen it just in small little uh, concentrated areas. Yeah, yeah, and you know, that works. Yeah. But this also goes to show if you wanted to, you can emboss a full page. And what I've done is I've added a stamp sentiment. Yeah. So my uh, stamp sentiment that I've got here is, uh, and let me just check my, my little notes that I write for myself where I've got the sentiment. We'll look at that in a second. But quite smooth stamping card, the same card stock. I've added that little bit of a ribbon, but then look at that. Look at the effect that you can then get within that one. So my, uh, if I just check my sheet there. So the sentiment is also from Bell Countryside. But a little bit of matting and layering. But if I bring in this one, and this has been made using the rose satin, the Midas nice. metallic ink pad. 
So you get more of a subtler look that we can see here. That is with the pigment, the uh, plum jam with clear embossing folder. But look at that lovely for you know valentine's just round the corner Absolutely. you know you might want to make that for uh, someone special in your life you might do Not if, me, you, no, no, if no, you have no. anyone no. <laughs> uh, it's that wonderful collection of 3d frame embossing photos loads of love for these only launched a few weeks ago and already at that ridiculously low price uh, remember these are these embossing folds at different sizes. We're starting off, first of all, with, of course, the fancy floral wreath. It's that wonderful 5.5 inches by 5 point inches. Again, 3D embossing folder. Embossing, oh, sorry. Embossing on so many different levels. You've also got the elegant frame trio. Again, that lovely tall slim card. Taking to your A5 size, the exquisite blooms, and then down to your A6, entangled roses. Again, another great card, another great collection. Then you've got luscious lilies. Which is one you've just done, Craig? Is it Lucius Lilies? Was that? Yep, yeah, that's the one Craig's just done. Uh, the elegant flourish. You've also got swirling lace. You've got classic lace. Then you've got lovely lace. Embellished lace. Again, another great little collection. Intricate filigree. And rounding off this collection, you have got the elegant swirls. A beautiful collection, $53.49, $70.95. Remember, you can buy them individually, and if you spend over £40, $40, you're going to get 10% off. However, look at that incredible price. I mean, platinum price. Look at the platinum price here. If you are a uh, clearance player platinum, £42.79 for that entire collection. And if you spend over 40 it, it just, it, for me, it's a no-brainer. You've seen what you can do with it, and that's just one of the techniques you can do with embossing. We've only scratched the surface. Uh, loads of love coming in for this day. Let me say hello to you. Uh, Sean's just gone, wouldn't it, anybody else just want Craig to come to their house to come and craft with them for ages and ages? <laughs> loads of love for you coming in today. Uh, right, let's have a look next at the wonderful, uh, the mix and match embossing folder. Craft kit with over 220 elements. Guys, 40% off because this is a perfect introduction to crafting, uh, to embossing. Now, tonight, myself and Debbie Robinson, Odu, are going to be here 6 p.m. here in the UK, 1 p.m. East Coast, Pacific Time, 10 a.m. We are launching box 54. 45. <laughs> they are the right numbers, not necessarily in the right order. Uh, create a card panels. They are out every so often. We bring a new box. This is number 39, and it's got a whopping 40% off. Remember that wonderful get it got it good deal. Um, guys, we're going to take a look inside this because this is the mix and match embossing folders. There's so much within this kit that you're going to want to have a look at it because it's like uh, we've said before, these are a great introduction to crafting. It comes in this wonderful stylish box. You want to keep it all nice and stored in there. Open it up. Ta-da! There's Sarah saying hello. Uh, guys, in this box, you're going to be able to do so much in there. These are brilliant because you're going to get everything in here. And you know what? There's dedicated shows to our craft kits, including this one. There's going to be so much within it. Now, it does say in the front of it, two, 220 elements, plus you're going to make a minimum of 24 cards. The reason it says you're going to make a minimum of 24 cards is because you get 24 card blanks and 24 envelopes, just like these here. That is the reason it says it makes a minimum of 24. However, I know what you guys are like. You'll be able to make your own card blanks, we'll do so much more, so we're not even going to look at them because they come in there. What you're getting in here is stuff that is exclusive to these kit box. Really important to remember that the things that come inside these kit boxes are exclusive and it's very rare you'll see them every, anywhere else, including the papers. Um, Again, they'll all be packaged up in nice little envelopes, so you'll know exactly what you're getting. Ours is well-loved, for a better term, but you're gonna get stuff in here exclusive to this craft kit, including these stamps and sentiments. Celebrate your day, you are beautiful to me. You deserve a very special day. The secret ingredient is always love. Life is beautiful, and sending warmest wishes. That is just what you're, one little part of here. You're also gonna get in here, embossing folders galore, exclusive to this craft kit. You can't get these anywhere else. You're gonna get these wonderful, I wanna say they're about four inches, five inches uh, in diameter, five by five uh, embossing folders. Again, exclusive to this craft kit. Beautiful little swirls, elegant and lovely. You're also gonna get these wonderful dots as well. Perfect, I mean, how many times are you gonna use these time and time again, the wonderful dotted pattern, and as well, this wonderful zigzag in here as well. Plus, 
you're getting this wonderful embossing and cut folder as well. You remember we talked about at the top of the show, you've got in here the embossing and you've also got the cutting element as well. Perfect for your edibles if you want to do that. You're also going to get in here, that's just little bits of what you're getting. You're also going to get ribbons which work together. The colours have all been picked out for you. This is such a springy colour. I love this. You've got the yellow, the pink and the green in those different widths there. All those different ribbons for you. Plus you've got the complimentary gems, uh, gems, gems that come alongside it as well. Thought on my oldies then, complimentary gym uh, you're gonna get the gems which work alongside the corresponding gems plus as well loads and loads of paper as well uh, again you're gonna get uh, textured cardstock you're gonna get pattern paper again eight by eight uh, again beautiful little patterns greens yellows oranges they're pinks again it's following that wonderful color pattern that you've already seen in those wonderful ribbons today uh, loads of paper there and you're also gonna get this wonderful textured cardstock as well I mean it's just beautiful solid strong cardstock which you always expect from crafters companion plus as well you also get these envelopes in here these are the envelopes you'll be getting however you can use that as well that for 15 pounds or 15 dollars or if you're platinum price 12 pounds 12 dollars i mean it's ridiculous what you're getting in there uh, what a perfect way to start your crafting uh, journey i mean there's just so much within there wrap it all back up and that is just one of the wonderful craft kits 45 is launching tonight. There's 45 of these bad boys to look through. Uh, and we've got a great get it, got a good deal as well, which we'll show you a little bit later on. We've had a look at embossing of folders. We're going to look at stencils. Which one are we going first, Georgina? The silhouette ones. Oh, I love these. The wonderful Andrew was with me last night and we touched upon it. They fell over then. <laughs> me and Andrew had touched upon these last night. Again, you absolutely love them because there's so much you can do with these embossing folders. It's just crazy. Uh, it's a silhouette and stencils collection. Now, our wonderful Craig is very excited because he's never actually played with these before, but he's going to have fun with them now. Because what you're seeing there, you're, saying, you're looking at that going, hang on a minute, George, that, there's two of the same stencil there. Well, actually, you've got the positives and you've got the negatives because you're going to be able to play with it all the simple way. You've got the moon stencil, but then you've got the little cover there for it. Uh, you've also got the wonderful stamps there to play with, including the little pixie, the little fairy. You've got all the little sentiments as well, the words. That is the magic is in your heart. And then, hopefully you don't make a, a loud trumpy noise. Uh, you've also got You Are The One. Again, there's so much you can do with this. So much love we, with these. I mean, the fun you can have with the inking on these. Because let's be honest, the stamps are going to be quite nice and simple. It's the inks where you're going to have fun with this. Create these wonderful little backgrounds. That is You Are The One. You are the one. You've also got beautiful moments, again, with a little swing, different kinds of swing. Now, as well, if you look at this, the little girl, actually, on this, demo, this uh, little example down here, is not actually, a stens uh, not actually a stamp. It's been made like that because you've got the swing, and then the cat and the little girl, uh, have, oh, there she is, have been put on the swing. So, again, you can create your own little scenes with these. Plus, you've got the little maps and little covers, so you're not going to be... Uh, Restamping re what you've already stamped. Then we're going under the sea with believe in yourself. Great little sentiments, these. Great little words. Dolphins, uh, the wonderful turtles, little mermaid. Again, another great little collection. Then you've got this as well with follow your dreams. We're going for that mythical theme uh, with their unicorn, with the stars, with the moon. Uh, dream big. Again, so much fun for these. And finishing off strength and love with this animals. Again, it's a great collection which you absolutely adore and love. Uh, Price at £50, £66, $58.30. You're getting 73 different elements in there. £40, £53, $46.64. Uh, loads of love coming in today. Uh, loads of you saying how much you uh, love your embossing folders. And a lot of you talking about the uh, craft kits as well. Sam's just said on Facebook, I've ordered box 45 this morning. And Patty uh, heard on Facebook, I bought the three slimline embossing folders from that collection. Now I need the Lily's folder after seeing the card Craig just made a little bit earlier on. You can make a few backgrounds in different colours and then just add the ribbon and sentiment as you need, as you need them. It's nice and simple. Joe's got to go to work now i'm sure he sure interferes with my crafting and watching time hey sorry about that joe have a good day at work we'll still be here later on but we're gonna have a look at these wonderful silhouette stamps aren't we craig we are indeed so we're going to be having a look at these ones 
We're going to see, um, well, I was about to say, see what we can create. I know what we're going to create. I'm not going to show you. We're going to do it step by step. What I do want to show you is I'm going to use in the Believe in Yourself. Yeah. Now, what you've got within this set, to start with the stamps, you've got the choice. Do you want the mermaid? Do you want the turtle? Or do you want the dolphin? Or you might want to create a scene with all of them. It would be a big card, but that's up to you. You've got Believe with Love, Believe in Yourself. So that is your stamp. So if you're going to use this collection in the way they're intended to, yeah. one of these is going to be your centerpiece. But then what you've also got is you've then got the stencils. Now with these, these are going to be the outer piece. Yeah. So what we've got is we've got a couple of accessory stencils that you can add additional detail. So you've got some of the, the seaweed where the bubbles come in, you've got just the bubbles, so you can start to create different backgrounds. And I'll show you that just shortly, or as we go on. But then what you've got is the outer stencil, or the inner, because what you actually get is you get the positive and the negative. Oh, yes. So we're going to be using this one so that the stencil that you see here, we're actually going to ink black yep. because the colour underneath is going to be a lovely bright colour. But if you wanted to flip it on its head for whatever reason, then what you can do is you can then use the outer stencil. So therefore, all of the stencil would be black or whatever yep. colour you choose to use. And then the outer parts, this could be colour if you wanted to. Or it would show pattern paper, whichever way that you choose to use it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go in with some water reactive inks here. I'm going to give my glass mat a little bit of a quick wipe. I obviously didn't get all the embossing powder off from before. So it's just a little bit grainy and it's uh, it's not it's not it's not bad, but you know what it's like if you get you know off yeah. your kitchen kitchen counter you feel grains of uh, salt or sugar and I just want to get rid of that first of all. It's like oof, it's not the after a while the, the feeling isn't exactly great. So here we go, so we're all good to go now. So I've got my white smooth stamping card for this one. And what I'm going to do is I've cut it a little bit bigger yeah. than my um, my stencil. Yep. There we go, couldn't think of the word there, George. It's a stencil. I've said it about 10 times in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, so exactly. how, can I, how can I forget it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my low tack tape to secure it. Yep. Now, anything like this, again, similar to the last demonstration, all that I can do is advise you. What I would advise you to do, anything like this, is pop your stencil tape, low tack tape, along the top because, and do that first, that creates a hinge. So once you've done the top, you can go around all the way with your tape if you want. I'm only going to do the top and the bottom for now. And I'm wanting the colour to be in the middle. It doesn't matter if you get to the side because we're actually going to chop that down. So you don't need to worry about being neat and not getting the edges of the cardstock. That's irrelevant. As I say, I just want to make sure my card was bigger than the stencil yep. just because. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a little bit of lemon tonic first. And what we're going to do is build up our colour. So I'm going to go in with the lemon tonic. And then all that I'm doing is I'm just dabbing and rolling round to start with. Right. And this is the sort of stencil, if you prefer to use your temporary spray, then you can do it to ensure that you don't lift any of the little bits. Yeah. That's, again, it's up to yourself. You see what you find easier doing. And then I've added a little bit into the middle. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, this time with this spring meadow. Yeah. And once again, I'm not going to dab, uh, sorry, I'm not going to blend for two reasons. One, I do want a little bit more of a textured look. Yep. So if I get little harsh lines from my blending pad, I'm not bothered about it. And also, it helps to prevent lifting up the edges right. of the stencil. Because if I was to blend in, I'm going to lift them up. Yes. That's when your uh, temporary spray would come in handy. But as I say, I'm not overly concerned because I really want to dab it all the way around anyway. So I'm building up that colour. I can come back again with the lemon tonic and then we can enhance that middle bit. So we are enhancing it. We're going to go back into the grasshopper. So while I'm dabbing it, it's also helping to blend out the centre. Mm -hmm. But then what you can also do 
is you could come back with the yellow and then start to blend that out even more. Yeah, of course. So we can start to see already we've gone from that bright yellow and we're going into our greens. Yep. So then what I'm going to do, let's enhance the grasshopper even more. Sorry, spring meadow even more. Yeah. And what I'm doing this time is I am pulling the colour, I'm blending the colour, yeah. but I'm pulling it. So I'm pulling it away from the stencil. So therefore, I'm not lifting the stencil. Yep. Yeah. So we're working our way round. So pulling in so we can then get that green working our way round and then work our way, carry on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then finish with some oasis. Right. All three are water reactive. Yep. So we're coming in with the oasis. I'm going to, this has had a darker blue used before. If, if maybe you're not fortunate enough to have a blending pad for every single colour, and what yeah. I mean by that, not a tool, just a pad, then if you are using the same one for your different shades of blue, if you've used a darker one before, I always take a scrap bit of card first and then just rub off any of the deep colour that's used before. Then I'll go into the lighter oasis. Lovely. And then what I'm going to do again, George, is exactly what I've done before. Nice. I'm going to dab the colour on and then we can come along. We can then blend it in. And then if I want to come back with a little bit more grasshopper, then I will do. Perfect. Uh, loads of love for this. Uh, Maggie on YouTube. I've had most of these. I'm so glad I'm watching this. I'm going to be making these today along today. Uh, a lot of love for the stencil stamp sets. Uh, Pammy said, I have these. These are awesome. One of my all favourite time things, uh, my favourite purchases. And ter Terry, Tom, and it's on Facebook. Hello to the lovely George and everyone. When George is on, I always want to break into song. George, George, George of the Jungle. Never heard of that before. Never heard of it. I'm joking. I'm, 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 looking, I'm looking at you going, is he, is he, I'm, is, I'm does flipping. he mean that? There's does three Georges in today. George, 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 yeah. George of the jungle, strong as he could be. Oh, watch out for that tree. Craig Laird here on vocals. Uh, <laughs> it's like Georgie Porgy pudding and pie. You get that one a lot. Uh, a lot. What else do you get for George? George, the thing is nothing rhymes with George apart from gorgeous. I mean. Gorgeous George. All Georges are gorgeous, Director George. You know it, mate. You know it. George of Animal Steel. George of Animal Steel. Right, uh, very old wrestler. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a very famous in Thomas and Friends or Thomas Tank Engine. Oh yeah, George. There's George the Steamroller. George Clooney. There's there Georgie and It. In It. If you want to go down that road. Cur Curious George the Monkey. <laughs> Curious George, the lovely little monkey. Yep. Uh, other famous Georges? George Bush. George Bush. George W. Bush. You don't go there with that one. Uh, George Aiken, he's famous. Who? Uh, he, he, tall kid. Big guy. Oh, cool kid. Wears yeah. slim fit t-shirts. Does he? Slim fit shirts, 2XL. How is that possible? Uh, <laughs> how is that? Slim fit, 2XL. Does it make sense? Uh, George Harrison of Beatles. George Michael. George Best. Boy George. Prince George. Oh, that's when it all changed, when they called him Prince George. That's when it became popular again, the name. Original <laughs> Georges, and they called him Prince George, and uh, that's it, you can get everything now. Mugs, names for doors, all sorts. Everything. Everything. Uh, Rachel on the socials, when I see you as curious, George. Yeah, I see that as well. He's a cute little monkey. What are you trying to say about my yellow T-shirt? I, don't, yellow I don't think I've actually ever seen, a, I don't know, a show, an episode or whatever. Of... It's a cartoon from like the 60s. Yeah. And they brought it back, didn't they? They did. The film, yeah. They re revamped it, didn't they? Sharky and George. Sharky and George, uh, Detectives of the Sea. Uh -huh. That's a kids' TV show. Anyway, uh, I'll need to think of some more. There's loads of little Georges. Uh, Peg on Facebook, I'm using water reactive pads today also. What I like is when you die cut, you can add different colours with them and not always use your markers. Exactly. Yeah. That's what, and I do always say, and many of us will say on the team, at the, at the moment or as time's gone by, you're maybe not in a position to buy all of your water reactives, quick dry and pigments. Yeah. So if not, 
or you're just wondering where to start, yeah. I would always suggest water reactive. Right. Because with your water reactive, what you can do is you can do your blending of colours if you want. You can stamp with them, mm. but you're not going to get a crisp, clean effect. So if you're not wanting that effect, then they're going to be good to stamp with. Yeah. And you can also do your heat embossing with. Ah. The best, the best ones to use absolutely are your pigment. You know that's what the, uh, the the ingredients inside are best for. If you don't have them just yet, then you can do your heat embossing like I done with that last demo. You can then come along with your embossing powder, sprinkle over the top, yeah. and then uh, heat emboss with it. Perfect. So they are really, really are versatile and what you can then create with them. So yeah, if you're ever unsure or in doubt, I would always start with your water reactives and then take it from there. Perfect. Uh, Pam E's been in touch with my George, he's named after George Weasley from Harry Potter. Oh yeah, George yeah. Weasley. But there is the famous, the famous kitten called George. I can't remember who the lovely viewer was and then they had she rescues kittens and she named it live on air for me. George the Kitten. He's now gone on to a new home, George the Kitten. Yeah, I bet it's still Somewhere called George, state. though. I can't remember, but yeah. Uh, Linda Warren on Facebook, there was a wrestler, you just said this, a uh, wrestler back in the day called Gorgeous George. Yeah, oh, Gorgeous George, yeah. Gorgeous yeah. George and George the Animal Steel, yep. Yeah. Many crafters may know him. Mm -hmm. Crafters, and when I first started here, I didn't think wrestling would be such a topic of conversation on Crafters TV. Whoa. With me and Ben about, and Johnny about, and now uh, Joe, Joe's into AEW. What's AEW? So it's competition to WWE. All right. It's, it's actually. He's always got to be different, Annie Joe. He's always got to be different. Always, like, yeah. Annie just, eh? Yeah, always. Uh, I don't mind watch wrestling. We can talk about that. I know, in saying that, the amount of uh, you at home, if I mention it on my Facebook or that, yeah. that you'll either say, obviously, you watch it, or your husband, or your grandkids, or your son, your daughter. It is, uh, yeah. It's not surprising how many, but, no. you know, you'd be shocked how many actually do it was, watch. It uh, was Barbara. Ros I let me go say it's Barbara Rosvatsky on YouTube and she's watching now but she named the kitten George. Kitten. Um, oh, George, can you please ask Craig from Sandra how the Crafters Companion Low Tack Tape off a dispenser, how do you, sorry let me read this again, how do I get the Crafters Companion Low Tack Tape off the dispenser to put it onto the Gemini Caddy dispenser? Right here, that's a good question. So what we can do is, we can show you this one. So I'm wondering, let's go from up above. Not sure if you can see, in the middle, there's two little clips. Now, they are quite tough. Yep. I'm not going to say that they're not. They are. They're there as a purpose, and that is to ensure that it stays on and doesn't fall off. So what you need to do is you need to then grip the two of them, and then once you get the grip of both of them, one will start to come, the other one will come off, and then that is how you remove it and then you can pop it onto yeah. this side dispenser. If you do want to pop it back, it's a lot easier to pop it on. You just sit it on and then it clip it so. on. So that's how, so the two little grips in the middle, squeeze them together, then I start to lift one out and then it the other goes. one will clip out. And then Pat sends paper hooks on YouTube. Uh, I know you've touched on this, you're not using pigment inks, are you using water reactive inks? I'm what, what, using water reactive, but you could use pigment wow, if you look want. At that. But look at that, isn't that yeah, absolutely beautiful. incredible? So now that we've done that one, what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to come along and see what I mean by creating that hinge. So yep. if I did miss any bits or I wanted to enhance it, I can put it straight back down. So let's remove that one off and we can clean that later on. And how would you clean that? Just with a... So I would just, uh, under uh, some warm water, yep. I would pop that on. Here we do use a baby wipe only because uh, obviously we don't have the time to then yes. uh, go and wash and what have you. But we do reuse them time and time again. Perfect. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outer stencil. Lovely. And then I'm going to layer it over the top. So if I layer that one over the top, and I'm doing it exactly over the top as to where I've inked. We are going to come along and use black. So if you don't get it exact, don't worry about it because the black will then yeah. cover the line. Let's just get the end of this one. See if we can get it. Let's, oh, there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to now come along with our black. But this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my jet black pigment ink pad. Yep. I'm not going to do any embossing with my powders with it. I find that with the jet black, you get a real, real strong 
black nice. from it. So that's why I like to use it. If you want to put your embossing powders or even more black embossing powder, yeah. you absolutely can. But then what I'm going to do is I'm only going to secure the sides around the edge here and then into here. And now what we can do is if I come in with the jet black, and I yep. am going to dab this one again, same as what I've done before. Mm -hmm. So let's come in with another uh, blending pad. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure the edges. Yep. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to dab. And then I'm going to, once again, I'm working away from my stencil. Mm -hmm. And we're really, really going to build this up. And don't worry if this outer edge of the stencil will move if you're not using your temporary spray because yeah. what we're then going to do is we're going to be trimming it anyway so you're not going to see it so don't worry if it does move but then all that I'm doing is I'm going to carry on all the way around this could be with the midnight blue if you wanted to this could be uh, one of the greys if you wanted to up to you but then this is what's going to make it look absolutely Gorgeous. It really is. Uh, Pam, me on YouTube, I've done a bunch of these and set them aside to say for any quick makes that I'll need later on. They are quite quick and simple, but really effective, aren't they? That are. Absolutely. They really, really are. It's that sort of technique where you feel as though you're getting crafty. Yes. Because you're using your inks, you're using your blending tools, you're using stencils, then you're coming along with your stamps to stamp over the top. So it feels as though you've really, really got creative. And then don't forget, if you want to come along, do things like your full bleaching effect with the water reactive inks underneath. Maybe you want to spritz some water to create some kind of real bubbles. Yeah. Or when I say real bubbles, you know, like water reactive bubbles. You, you could. could. Use your um, glossy highlights. You absolutely could indeed. Could that would good. work. Look at you getting good, eh? Yeah. I'll get that crafty side, paper craft side out of you. It's only took me 12 months. <laughs> So how long you've been here? Well, I came back in January of last year. That was when I first visited Crafters TV. Wow. And the uh, handcuffs of Nerbit, I'm joking. <laughs> the electronic tag. You're no, still and then here. Like, my first show, my first proper show, I did some shows in March, but then my first proper show, I was left, let off the leash by myself. Yeah. It was May time. May? Yeah, with Debbie Robinson. I mean, they took, took me in the deep end there, didn't they, with Debbie? Oh. Now nah, bless him. And yeah, then look at you. 12 months I've been coming up and down. The uh, A1 to get here. No. Gosh, that was a busy road on Saturday night when I was coming home from Creighton Craft. Was it? Stuck in traffic and everything, accidents, and I uh, I drove through all four seasons pretty much oh, in well, that uh, it was few Jody, hours. Jody, Jody from Tonic said yes. the exact same thing yesterday. It was the, it was awful. Touch wood, I'm going to say this now, I know when I leave on Friday, but I've never touch wood. Never had an issue leaving here on the A1. No. I've jinxed it now, haven't I? You have every totally set jinxed of road it. Works, accidents. It's, I'll tell you what it is. It's looking for the speed cameras on the way up. That's the hardest <laughs> bit. That's the game. I never speed. I keep in the speed limits. Uh, but this is it. This is the drum roll. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It is. So let me take this side bit off. And then let me take this side bit off here. And I'm going to leave the top one up, so if I come along, if I then lift... Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that, Craig. Isn't Beautiful. that so, so good? And the other thing you could do as well, when you pop your stencil on, if you want to offset it ever so slightly... Drop shadow it. So you get that white drop shadow yeah. look. It has got a little bit of a drop shadow look. It has. 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 It just in, in there and there. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, you're right. Just uh, in a few bits all the way around. It's got that drop shadow effect. And then we don't need to do much at all to finish it off. Yeah. What I am going to do, I... Um, looking at this because although I said I've never used them before obviously I prepped this last night but show wise I've never actually done a show so what I done when I prepped them was used my stamping platform yeah. to hold it into place and I'm going to come in with the dolphin <coughs> love dolphins that was good hey animal impressions what I can do if anyone's got any dolphins that need uh, a new name, we could always call it George. Dolphin George. Yeah. I bet someone's got a dolphin out there. They'll be like, oh, I've got a dolphin. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, nothing surprises me nowadays either. George the Dolphin. George the Dolphin. George the Dolphin. Oh, dear. 
I, uh, I, I've, I've just been looking to see dolphins in the wild. They are uh, on the boats and stuff. And when I was in Ibiza, randomly, I see uh, dolphins in Ibiza. Really? Yeah, ra really random. But like in the sea or, yeah? yeah, in the yeah. Sea, wild dolphins. Wild dolphins. I just find it fascinating that when, um, if you're out on a boat or any boat, how mm. dolphins love to swim yeah, by the side of them. Yeah. It's like a, a chase, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the front. So, so nice. The chase is on. The chase is on. With the dolphins. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, it. I'm Pants not into game shows, do you know that? You like it? You think no. It? no. Do you not like it? No. Why? The only game show, well, there's two now. The only one I've liked in the past was Million Pound Drop. Yeah, great. With great, Davina great McCall. Show, yeah. And the other one I absolutely am addicted to, and it's just finished, was Ant and Dex oh, Limitless. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I was on the end, edge of my seat on some of them as well. Gosh. Who nope. wants to be a millionaire? No. Nope. Right. With Chris Tarrant, it took too long. Jeremy Clarkson, he speeds through it, and I like it a bit better. He doesn't mess about, he's a bit bish bash bosh, and I like Jeremy Clarkson. Who wants to be a millionaire? But the question is, what game show would you like to go on? If you could go on anything, Craig, what would you like to go on game show wise? Something where I don't have to have great knowledge about stuff. I'd love to do like Total Wipeout. Something like that, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Or Gladiators, definitely. Yeah. Oh, when I was a kid, there was a TV show called Jungle Run on uh, I remember TV, that, yeah. ITV, children's ITV, and then you'd have to go through his jungle, get in the little crystal monkeys to yeah. win prizes. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, get your own back. Kids TV shows were brilliant. Gungeon, bit of Nickelodeon, I'm all up for that. Love it. Love, love, love it. Um, Pat Sands Paper Pugs on YouTube, Craig, asks, what's up with those white strips on all four sides? So I think we mean those little, like the ones which have held the stencil in. That, yeah, that's, that, that's exactly what, what it's for. Do. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what it's for, George, to hold the stencil in. Otherwise, um, it would all be apart. If you want to snip them off so you don't get that look, I'm going to be trimming it so that it's right at the edge of the ovals, yeah. and then you will get a slight bit, because I've left the stencils intact, so I'm gonna come in with a little fine pen or something Perfect. and then just fill it in. But yeah, if you want to snip it off completely, you can do. And then what I'm gonna do is I could have gone a wee bit more heavy handed or changed to my jet black quick dry, but I like the look of the dolphin being lighter and textured, but keeping it in with the black. Yeah. So that's why I'm gonna keep it with that. I was. Um, I was going to uh, add some black, that's why I, I lent back a minute ago to get the jet black and then I thought, no, I like that sort of look with the dolphin. But then it could be blue if you wanted to, yeah, do you know what I mean? You could silver. be do that, any of them. Or pink. Or pink, you, if you want a pink dolphin, you can have a there pink dolphin. There is an albino dolphin out there. There is actually, isn't there? There is indeed, remember that. When I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be talking about albino dolphins. Albino dolphins. Uh, so this is the paper trail again. Ah, oh, you see what I mean? Just snips it straight off. And yeah. Ah, oh, right on the edge of that oval. So right yeah. on the edge of the oval. And then if you do get a tiny little bit that we can just see there and no more, I'm going to fill that in. Oh, look at that. I've got ink. See, that's the only thing with the pigment. If you're not going to put your embossing powders over the top. You need to let it dry or even just heat set it with your heat tool. Yeah. Otherwise, as I said before, it stays open longer. But I don't want to add any powder. I want to keep it as it is. But to avoid the little white marks, if they do frustrate you, then just snip them off your stencil and then you just need to be uh, conscious of the fact when you use them going forward, you'll need to use like a spray or that yeah. to hold them down. But all that I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of our art liners and I'm just going to fill that in at the side, just there. If you really want to colour in, or if you've got your little finger daubers or the edge of your blending tool, you can come along and then you can then add that in so that you're still using the same ink pad. But all that I'm doing, I'm more than happy to use the art liner because at a distance, you're not going to see it. Beautiful. And then all that we need to do is pop it onto our card. I've already stamped out the sentiment that says believe in yourself. Yep. So I'm going to turn that one over and I'm going to use my tape again for this only so that I'm not pulling my card all the way around, keeping in mind that the ink pad is still wet. And then take this one off. And I've gone for some of our blue satin card okay. from our luxury card. So let's bring this one in. I'm going to layer that one 
Straight, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You tell me. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I <laughs> am going to. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, mate. I'm going to add a white matting layer to break it up yep. from the blue. And let's use my trimmer to trim it down. And then while I'm doing this, if you didn't know, I, uh, if you got a hold of your Violet Studios Farmstead Easter collection yesterday, yeah. I'm doing a Facebook Live tonight after Crafters TV ends. Yeah. And what I'm doing, George, is I'm doing an hour demoing the Farmstead Easter collection. Then me and you... Me and you. Me and you, Jimmy, have a stonker of a launch day tomorrow. tomorrow. Previewing it tonight on launch party, and myself then, and Debbie Robinson. And then I'm also going to be previewing it on my Facebook Live yeah. after. So, uh, an hour of uh, Violet Studio Farmstead and an hour of the launch preview. That's half nine here in the UK, or 4.30 Eastern time, 1.30 Pacific time. So if you do want to uh, have another preview after George and Debbie, come and have a look on my Facebook page. It'll be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm here to... We've got, I've got a few launches this week. There's a few launches coming up. One every day till Friday. We've got a couple of launches together. Yeah, as well. We've got quite a few shows together, which I've is great. Wednesday and Friday. Yep. Launches. That's going to be fun. But yeah, fun. tomorrow's one I'm really looking forward to. And you've got one on Thursday with Craig. You're with Ben. Uh, do I? Yeah. <laughs> I checked out. I did my research. <laughs> Look at me, look at me again. Is it you and Ben on Thursday? Is it me and Ben? It's definitely Ben. It's not me, I know that. I'm sure it's Ben. I'm sure it's you. Uh, I'm Debbie Robinson. It's only you or Debbie, but I'm sure it's Craig. It's Chick. So we do. So we do. I knew I was right. Yeah, well, there right. you go. There you yeah. are. You can just keep me right. It's not, it's not often that you come to me saying no. that you've got a show oh, and I'm, I'm like... I'm sure it is. Am I? I write down right. my cards and everything so it looks like I know what I'm doing. Uh, beads and stones, bean tutorials. Uh, me on YouTube. Got my magnetic stamping platform delivered today for a stamping aficionado or me, as me or I. It's amazing. Great results. Well, before, before, before was just a struggle. The stamping platform uh, is perfect for stamps uh, and it's just in a league of its own, isn't it, Craig? Oh, it really, really is. Now, I'm not one that has a lot of issues with stamping. In saying that, it doesn't matter. You could be the best stamper in the world, but if you stamp and miss a spot yeah. with any other stamping platform that we have, it's now all impossible to re-stamp it. So therefore, I, um, I love my large stamping platform, and that's what I've done with the dolphin. So <laughs> I, I could have kept going. <laughs> and because I use my stamping platform, the cardstock stays in the same place, the stamp stays in the same place, so you can keep going and enhancing that colour with it moving and I couldn't do that with the 4x4 or yeah. the 6x6 so it really is an absolute uh, must in my opinion. It really is a great little investment as well there's certain things between crafting you sort of just you need don't they to get the best out of your uh sorry get ready for my little shoulder roll uh, getting yourself ready for crafting <laughs> hey I'm going to see a show on Thursday what one's that? Adam's Family all right the musical Did my friend, it? randomly who I've not spoken to ages I was like you're in the Adams family. He's like, yeah, I'm in the Adams family. And they're in Newcastle, so I've got a bit of time on Thursday, so it means I'm going to go and see the Adams family. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, really good. That would be really I good. Love the Adams family. Your white gel pens, these are Yes. Are they good? Now, what I've done is, as you said, it's my white gel pen. Now, I'm not going to go all the way around every little element here. What I'm going to show you, because I prepped some of this yesterday, and I, I may have borrowed... Uh, a little drop of Jodie's Nouveau Drops. Yeah. So if I show you that, and you can continue to go around some of the elements with a white gel pen, or if you go in and if you keep going and adding more and more colour to enhance it, oh, you can get that. that. And then look around the coral reef. That's yeah. tiny, tiny little dots of the Nouveau Drops. That was, I think it was the, the silvery one yeah. that was in that set that Jodie had on yesterday. So you can see there. So that's the one that we've just done there. And again, that shows you. We've gone deeper with the black and we've gone lighter with the colour. So you can choose what you want to do. But I absolutely 
adore this collection. I've had so much fun, and I can see myself using them time and time again for family birthday cards. Absolutely. All in case. A great collection. Remember, that brilliant price, £50.66, $58.30. You're saving yourself 35%. It's the best price ever. Remember, available individually. Alternatively, that might buy two for £22 or $26, but the best price you're going to get is if you're buying the bundle because you're going to get so much within it. You're going to get the magic is in your hands. You're going to get you are the one. You are the one. You're also going to get the lovely girl swinging away beautiful mo uh, moments. The wonderful uh, believe in yourself what Craig has shown you there under, under the sea. You've got the magic follow your dreams of the unicorn and finish off that collection. This wonderful African savannah, the uh, wonderful strength and love. That wonderful price on screen. Remember as well, club inspired discount, 20% off there, £40.53, 46.64. If you have never shot with us before at Club Inspire, you'll get 20% off your first order, which is that price you'll pay. Plus 250 bonus points, which takes you to bronze, meaning that you get 5% off all your future orders. A uh, lot of love for that, Craig. Uh, Barbara on YouTube, who got the lovely cat called George. Oh, I love that card, Craig. A lot of love for it. Uh, guys, loads of you got loads of things in your basket. Oh, we had an hour of fun. Don't forget, longer shows, three hours, another two hours to come on this masterclass, all about embossing and stencils. We'll see you shortly. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm, <laughs> I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. 
This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Yes, welcome back to your masterclass here on Crafters TV. Uh, it is a brilliant day. We've got just under two hours left. All about in Boston. What's up, Craig? What's up, mate? You all right? Uh, we we're just, were just talking about neighbours. What, neighbours as neighbours? <laughs> What's happened? Uh, Channel 5 have axed it. And because, and because Channel 5 pay for most of the neighbours, although it's an Australian soap, it's at the moment, until a new channel's found in the UK, it's... So, yeah, so that's it. Uh, 20, um, it's the same age as EastEnders. So they're both 30 years? Yeah, it's, uh, yes, so it's, thir it's, it's, coming up to, it's coming up to its 40th. Same as EastEnders, yeah, so let's hope. I'm, I'm trying to get Crafters TV to, uh, to put neighbours on, but don't let that work. Anyway, that was just what we were chatting about in the break there. Anyway, back to, back to crafting. Uh, maybe you need some good neighbours with ink. Uh, yes, if you're doing stamping, you're going to need some great inks, including these wonderful metallic ink pads, Midas inks. A uh, great collection, nine pack collection here for you, £35, $55, saving yourself 20%. There's wonderful metallic colours that you've seen many times. We're going in for the extreme close up. Here we go with the colours. We're starting off first of all with blush. We've also, there it is, there you've got rose satin, pink lace. Amethyst, you've also got blue organza, red garnet, jade green, silver, and of course, rose gold. Uh, £35, $55, saving yourself 20%. I did have jade green, yes. There is, there is nine, see, nine. Uh, remember, you're close by a platinum price, £28.44. Uh, opaque pigment, which is wonderful Craig's been telling you about today, how good they are, what they do. Uh, there, it should be 10, it doesn't like there's 10 in this one, but we'll see what happens. Uh, 10 great colours for you, £39.55. Let's we'll see what happens, here we go. Ocean blue. Orange. Green topaz. Pink tulip. Plum Jam, Misty Morning, Parakeet, Lemon Tonic. That's all I've got. I'm guessing there's Chinese Red as well. Ch Chinese Red. Chinese Red and Fuchsia. I knew there. You know what you're getting. I knew, the, I knew there was Chinese Red and Fuchsia. I'm not used to saying it now. £39 with $5. Again, you're getting your Club Inspired discount on their platinum price. £31.20, $44. Uh, also, sparkle pens. We love a bit of sparkle in the morning. We love a bit of sparkle on Crafters TV. Uh, the uh, clear overlay sparkle pens. Two packs. You're getting double this. Uh, £20.99. $27.99. Make anything... Sparkly. Uh, platinum price as well, £16.79, $22.39. You're getting two pack. Uh, just go back to the other shot, George. I just want to confess something. If you can see his little tear here, that I know, I just, I just, I could have seen it. Yesterday, that people would think that's stylish. I know, but I, Becky might be able to fix it on Friday. I tore my jeans, right? I tore my jeans before we went live on air yesterday, and I um, I got some fabric glue and one of the tri blend pens. You'll never notice. You'll never know. Uh, that's all. That's see, the crafting god goodness. You like that? You won't never notice it again. Uh, we've also I love how disappointed everybody was. My God, we told you not to say it, uh, guys. We were saying about ten on Tuesday as well. This is the stack and stash. Uh, Look at our storage boxes. We do storage really well. Ten pounds. This is the website. Ten pounds, ten dollars each uh, on the website. There's the website. Uh, our wonderful George is on there at the minute for you. You're so much. Uh, you can have a look in there. You can fill these with so much. Um, I mean, they come. Well, let's move the piece of paper for you. Wonderful, great plastic lid, and they've also got as well in here this wonderful 
storage options for you because what you've got is the little device basically you can make this for whatever you need to fit you've got the freedom to do this with whatever you want you've got it uh, on the vertical there you've got the wonderful little holders so it means that you can move your borders to wherever you want you've also got all these wonderful little plastic inserts which means you can make the storage for exactly whatever you need whatever size 10 pounds guys 10 pounds this you can make it for whatever you want ten dollars whatever your currency you're paying tenner for it um i mean you can make it as big as small i mean i'm looking at this guy and i need this in my life look i mean this i'll show you some examples of what you can put in there and just how much um how much stuff you can actually fit in one of these boxes there you are. I mean, look at that. You've got your red liner tapes in there, inks. Uh, you've also got uh, glitters. You've got embossing. You've got, you can make, maybe you want to put all your cosmic shimmer in there as well. I know that we use these in the studio for storing products. I mean, you know, when we go, right, we've got cosmic shimmer stuff. We're going to keep it all there together so we know exactly where it is. Nice and easy, nice and clear. £10, $10 today. I'm going to have to get some of them in the break. I need to get some of those in the break today. Uh, remember as well, do you still get your Club Inspire discount on top of that, won't you as well? Mm hmm Yeah. So if you Club Inspire, you're going to get 20% off that if you're Platinum. Eight quid. Eight dollars. That's just... For that is incredible. You'd pay that in certain shops here in the UK for stories like that. Um, a lot more than that. Guys, a lot of love. Uh, a lot of people get in touch saying, I have these inks. The wonderful uh, Caroline French. I have these metallic pads and love them. And, and she's also said... Torn jeans is all the range in the shop at the moment, says oh, yeah. Craig said it. I know, I'm down with the kids in my mustard shirt. Uh, we've got for you today these wonderful cutting emboss folders. Oh, sorry, wrong side. <laughs> I get confused by left and right. Uh, this is, these ones, uh, your wonderful 3D fray embossing folders, 12-piece <laughs> collection, $53.49, $70.95, launched a couple of weeks ago, 25th of January, and they're here at this wonderful price, saving yourself 20%. Remember, you can buy, uh, spend over £40, dollars, you get an extra 10% off, but it's a ridiculously cheap price today that you're paying. You've got the different sizes, you've got your slimline cards, you've got the 6x6, uh, 5.5 by 5.5, by 5 A5, A5, Six. Now, Craig, when we talk about embossing folders, we, you know, to me, embossing is 3D. However, these are 3D embossing folders. So what is the difference between a 3D embossing folder and a normal standard embossing folder? Well, your normal standard embossing folder, so it's the, when I explained at the start the, what a 3D embossing folder is, it's similar to that, but instead of having a multitude of layers within that design, it's just one design and it's flat. So it's raised, but it's all on one level. Whereas a 3D embossing folder, you've got multitude of levels. So leaves might be quite thin in the emboss, the petals might be thicker, then the stamens might be even thicker. You know, so you've got multitude of layers. So that's why you've got the 3D. But what we're going to show you is the difference between a 3D embossing folder and a cut and boss and fold, uh, cut and cut and boss and boss folder because we've both got them on the show. So I've got my cardstock here. I just want to trim it down. What do you do with my trimmer? Here we go. I'm going to trim these ones down because your cut and emboss folders are exactly as it says. They cut, but then they also emboss at the same time. So I'm going to use one of our 5x7 3D embossing folders and then I'm going to use one of our slimline cut and emboss folders and these have little dies already inside them so you explained it earlier on that gray look that lighter look that we can see within the cut and emboss these are actually dies that are inside so it is a different plate configuration so what i'm going to do is let's go in i'm going to take uh, let's go in so the 5 by 7 3d exquisite blooms that we're going to use and then what we can do so if we run this one through, yep. so with it being a 3D embossing folder, what I'm going to do is put a white smooth stamping card into the middle and then plate configuration, base cut and plate, your magnetic and your plastic shim. Now all of our folders, size dependent, will work in all the die cut machines out in the market. The only thing that you'll need to just have a look at is the plate configurations for your embossing folders because they will differ from machine to machine. So once again, this is white 
smooth stamping card. Yeah. And this is the 3D look. So if I hold it there, that's a perfect way to show you. Oh, nice. See how this petal is a wee bit more lighter and not as impactful as of this one here. So this is further down in the background. But look at this leaf here it's even more further into the background. So that's one layer. The best way to explain it is that's about a millimetre high. Mm -hmm. That's about two millimetres high. That's about three millimetres high. Then you're going into the centre of these florals and these petals, which are about four or five millimetres high. So not exact millimetres, but that's the best way to explain it. It gets higher and higher in certain points. So that is what your 3D embossing folder is. Yep. But then what you can do as well, and this will show it off, is I've done that letterpress technique. And actually, let's use a different colour. So we use fuchsia there. That kind of shows the same as to what I've done earlier on. So let's go, let's go in with a blue, just so that it can show you. Use your ink pads as well to skim over the top. Right. So I'm making sure that's flat and then lightly, let's just make sure, because oh, yeah, any bits that are raised or curved, yes. the ink pad is going to pick that up. So try and get it as uh, smooth as you can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub and roll. Great idea. And then this is a good way to, sh to use them. But what it also will do is it will show you again the layers that are in the design. Yep. Because the heaviness of the colour, that's going to be the high detail, which right. means that's really, really quite prominent. And then as it gets lighter, that's uh, a layer that's further back. So we'll have a look so we can see these darker layers around here. So that's really quite high up. But then it gets a bit lighter into some of these floral bits which then that just means it's a little bit lower. And then we're going into the leaves that are here. So part of the leaves that's picking it up, that's even lower. And then you have some leaves that are barely, barely embossed. You can see them just and no more. So within that 3D, that must be, I would say between four and five different layers of design yep. that's embossing within that one there. So that kind of is a good way to show you the layers. But then what I'm going to do, so if I bring in my card again, and when it comes to our cut and emboss folder, similar to all of our emboss folders where it all embosses, so all your black swirls, that's your emboss detail, yep. these aren't 3D, so therefore all the detail that's black, instead of it being, some of it being quite low, some of it being higher, some of it yeah, being yeah. even higher like I showed you in this one, it's all on one level, and that's to do with uh, having the dyes that are incorporated with them. So the silver ones, these are all dyes as well, and these are all encapsulated in with the plastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this one in, we're going to close it. Now when it comes to your cut and emboss folders, it's a different plate configuration. Mm -hmm. So what it is, George, it's your base cutting plate and yep. your base cutting plate. So the two cutting plates together. We're going to run that one through your Gemini. Yep. That's going to go through it. And that's the perfect depth. So it embosses with the detail, but there's just enough pressure for it to die cut nice. those dies. So we can remove this one out the way. We can then lift it up. And because these petals as well stay in place, all you need to do is just be careful as you're teasing them out. You can use a pokey tool if you want, mm -hmm. but then what we've got, so if I nice. tilt it, uh, there we go. So can we yeah. see we've got all that embossed detail yep. that's on one level, but then your floral leaves or the petals, these have all die cut, but they stay within your card. So the same format as our liftables yep. that we do, but this time it is in an embossing folder. So it's the best of two worlds. You're getting the folder, you're getting the emboss, but you're getting the dies in there as well. So if I leave that like That's that... brilliant. Do you know what, Craig? That'd be like... You'd pay a lot of money for that in the shops. You the would. Frame, wouldn't you? You absolutely would. So then what you can do, if you want to do the letterpress technique that I yeah. showed you, you can. If you want to come along and then ink them with your pads, you can. If you want to go around with your blending tool and your pads, you absolutely can do. So this is a good way to show you as well. Even if I go side by side, I know I've inked this one, but your 2D embossing folders, the, the design's on one level, 
and then you've got your die cuts in here as well that yeah. lift up so you could colour them if you were to colour them what I would do put a little bit of scrap card underneath so that you don't get it elsewhere colour them gem in the middle nouveau drops in the middle yeah. but then imagine using a background with the powders that Jodie had yesterday would popping that right. over the top yeah I did have to buy them myself <laughs> but that is the difference between a 3D and a cut and emboss folder. There's so much within it and a great collection. Great deals on these today, guys. Uh, head to the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu. You'll see it on the main homepage. It'll say Masterclass and you've got the shop the show option. Have a look while you're there. See what you've got for you in the show. Uh, and remember, Tedder Tuesday, £10, $10, some great goodies, some great bargains. Our top pick, those stash and carry uh, boxes, which I think I may have to put into my basket a little bit later on because they are great value for money. What a, what a deal. I'm getting my words out next side. What a deal they are. Uh, let's have a look at you. What we're going to look at next, we're going to look at... Oh, we can do some demo. Yeah. Okay, let's do it then. I'm excited. I was like, what are we doing? Yeah. Yay, Boston. Yay, yay. yay. And do you know what this is? This is another one of people's favourite. This is Black Card. With yep. Gildan Wax. No way. Yes way. You love a blinking Gildan Wax. I do love a blinking Gildan Wax. I sure do. <laughs> so black card, black matte card stock. And what we're going to do is one of my personal favourites, elegant swirls. So what I'm going to do is I've cut my card stock already down to four by six. Well, it was four by six. And what I've done is I've trimmed a couple of millimetres off all the way around. And that will become apparent in a moment. So what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to pop that one in. Yes. And we're going to close that one. So with this still being 3D, even although it's a smaller one than before, it's our magnetic. Yep. And it's our plastic. Do you want to say something even cooler? Craig, you're spoiling us today, mate. I'm a spoiling you. Yeah. I'm a spoiling you. Oh, no way. It's coming out. It's coming out. So we're going to add our metal shim, plastic, and then our plastic shim. Yep. We're going to run that through. You will hear a slightly different side with the Gemini because, of course, you've added an additional layer in there. Yep. So what we're going to do Ooh. is we're going to bring this one out. So this, if you thought in 3D embossing was incredible as it is, what I'm going to do is if I lift this one up, and then at first you might think, oh, that was a letdown, Craig. Oh, thanks. But if I show you that oh, as it is, Craig. and we have got the most deep emboss. Okay, Craig, but I can't really see it. So. Let's come in with our Gildan Wax. So we're going to come in here. So I'm going to go in with the King Gold. Yep. So King Gold and uh, Gildan Wax. Yep. And I'm going to dab it onto my glass mat so we can get it onto my finger. And then I'm going to start in one corner first. Craig, that is that's beautiful. Look at this. Uh, the Gildan Wax, I know it sounds dab, but it's not going to hurt your fingers, is it? Of course it? not. No. Of course not. If you're unsure, if you've never used anything like this before, it's things that we would always say, even if you're dabbing glue on the back that you've never used before, do a little spot test yeah, if you like want you to. Like something. you would, absolutely. Yeah. Anything like that. But it's not, unless you have allergies or any issues like that, yeah. it's not going to harm you. It's not going to do any damage whatsoever. So you don't need to worry about that one. Yeah. But if you've never tried it before and you've had issues with things in the past, yeah, just do a little spot dab onto maybe the back of your hand or your that, arm or that something. Looks, but when this is done, I can already see this, but when this is done, it's going to look like you've bought this in the shops, isn't it? It's, because it is. You're gonna bought, no one's going to believe that you've made that. No, they wouldn't. No, you're absolutely right, George. They wouldn't. Imagine going into a shop and, as you say, you're seeing that. Into a little frame or something like that. You know, you could go in, distress the edges, giving it an yeah. antique look. You could be doing that even one. Like if you're doing craft shows or something, mm -hmm. you could sell these made up for people. Of course you could. Do you know what I mean? People would buy these as pre-made up. Well, that's it. Oh, you know, and because you, you are actually making something. So, as you said, George, yeah. cut your card out, emboss it, put the Gildan wax on, put a pack of ten in, a cello bag, and sell them for a couple of quid or something. You know what I mean? You've made it, so you can sell it. Doesn't it have to be a finished design. No. As long as you've physically made something, you can be doing that one. 
So there's maybe some crafters that are out there that are maybe just beginning, that maybe can't reach to die cutting machines, embossing folders. So give them a little bit of a helping hand. You know yeah. what I mean? Put a pack in already made and uh, sell it to them. Best of both worlds, you make a few pounds or dollars or euros, and that beginner crafter is then able to create and experience that, that inhale of breath when the recipient receives it yeah. and goes, oh my gosh, that's beautiful, where did you buy that? And you can go, well, technically I made it because you'll have yeah. made it into a card if you have bought them. And the wax crate, once you've finished it, is it dry? Because I, I, in my mind I think it's a very greasy, you like grease Not at all. move? Nope. Right, nope. Okay. So you don't need to worry. What I do like to do is give it a little bit of a buff afterwards with kitchen roll or a microfiber cloth. Yeah. Because the gilding wax, the Pebio gilding wax was first brought out many, many years ago for home decor and upcycling. Right. So if you were to go to antique places or people that then upcycle things and they use yeah. gilding wax a lot, you will find that they'll use a Pebio gilding wax. So going all the way round. And then you, as we tend to say with anything, ink or colour, add little and build up. Yeah. You can always add, you can't take away. But look at that. Isn't that spectacular? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eke the centre out, because I'm keeping the centre in, but I don't want to have that harsh line. I want to kind of blend it out that little bit with my finger that we can see here. So then what I can do is I'm going to come along, let's take a little bit of kitchen roll, or as yep. I say, a microfiber cloth. I'm just going to buff it, and then what that's going to do is it's just going to make it stand out that little bit more. Yep. It's going to give it more of that metallic look. So if we go on, but as you can see, so you get a little bit of the excess that's been sitting on the cardstock, but look at that, no blending out, no bleeding out, no smudging, no smearing, and nothing like that. And then you get more of a polished look. I mean, even, you know, I've done this sort of thing for so, so long, yeah. but I still get that, like, shiver up my back when I see that the, all that is black card, a piece of plastic, i.e. a folder, and gilding wax, yeah. and that's all. So what I'm going to do is, because I've got a little bit of an edge there, I'm going to trim it. And to clean this, just yeah. take your adhesive cleaner or something like a nail polish remover or something like right. that's going to take it off. A hand sanitizer? I was a way to say something that we've all currently still got yeah. at the moment. It's like a hand sanitizer. <gasps> and and Kalina Kuss. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Your name, I'm really sorry. I'm just laughing at your name. Uh, Anne, Kalina, oh, uh, Anne on Facebook said, Ooh, Gilding Wax, a mirror card. Who would have known? Mm -hmm. Eve be on YouTube, loving the Gilding Wax cray, and Pat Paper Sense Hugs. Uh, Pat Sense Paper Hugs, sorry, should I say. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Can people not have such complicated YouTube names? I'm not saying Anne <laughs> Kalina Kus is a complicated name, but Pat Sense Paper Hugs always confuses me. Always confuses you, does uh -huh. it? It doesn't take much, if I'm honest. There, there is some funny ones out there, isn't there? There's some yeah. good ones. Makes, makes me chuckle. The do. Mine's is just boring old Craig Laird. Mine's just George Aiken. Yeah, George Aiken is my uh, YouTube. Nothing, nothing on there. No, there's nothing on mine. I'm, I'm still working on, funny enough, speaking to my friend last night, still working on getting it where my Facebook Lives can go onto the oh. YouTube page. So, and I know what you're all thinking at home, you're like, Craig, shut up, you've been saying it for months. Honestly, I need to, there's something I didn't know, I need to speak to uh, Lord Adam about it. Mm -hmm. Something to do with that, a code and... Um, something. something like that. Something. So uh, anyway, so yeah, so it won't be tonight, but hopefully next week when I start them, we'll be able to do them on to YouTube as well. I love typing my name into Google. See what happens. I well, dread to think what mine's is going to come in. You get George Clooney as a kid, because my name's A-Kid, and you put George A-Kid in YouTube or Google. Really? Like, they go like, it just brings up famous, there's quite a few pictures of me, but then it does uh, bring up George, famous Georges as children. And so there's a shoe company in America called Aked Shoes. For kids. Children's for shoes. kids? Yeah, children's shoes. 
I should go there. You know, <laughs> get tax on kids, kids clothes fit me or teen clothes fit me. Um, everyone's been in touch with a question. Yes. I'm always worried that the wax will get stuck in my guillotine. Oh gosh, no, don't worry about that. No. Don't worry about that at all. Nope, it will be fine. Because the thing is as well, with our guillotine, because it's self-sharpening, any residual inks or anything like that will just get um, kind of, not sanded off, but it'll just... Um, Say what? Not sanded off, it's but... self-sharpening? Our guillotine, yeah. I don't know that. Yeah, if I bring this one in, it's metal, metal on metal. So if I bring this one in, the whole reason this is metal and it's chamfered the way that it is, is so that when the blade goes down, yeah. because this isn't from um, a, like a routine blade manufacturer, this is from a sword manufacturer. No. Leanne went to a sword manufacturer. So when you, every time you cut, that's what that sound is. Metal against metal, but it's helping to sharpen it each time. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what it is. So you can do these tips of uh, doing a few cuts through things like tin foil or that, but you don't need to. It's self-sharpening. So any residual uh, inks, uh, the only thing I would make sure that I clean off is maybe anything sticky from foam pads or double-sided tape. Right. But inks or waxes, anything like that, it's just going to kind of like sand it off as it cuts down. So don't worry about it. Perfect. Don't worry at all. But what I've done here is the reason I had another bit of black card. So this emboss... I've trimmed down to three and a half by five and a half. Yeah. And then what we've got is we've gone in with black again to create that little layer. Here she comes, my saviour of the day. I love you, Tracy. Thank you for the cup Thanks, of tea. Tracy. She has just told me I don't say bad things about her. I've just spilled water down my top, so I just ignored that there. She went, and she went, how have you missed your mouth? See, I'll grass you up. She's nasty to me, she bullies me, Tracy does. Love you. Uh, Jay Reesem on YouTube, good morning, on my phone as we are heading to Safari Park. Oh, wow. Who want to come to the Safari Park? Send us pictures, please. We want to see the animals. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking at the animals? No, no, I'm watching George and Craig. <laughs> Peter animals themselves. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that song when I, well, I was a kiddie? How it was, we're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. zoo. How about you? You, 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 you can, can come to. Two, two, we're going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. I wanted to do a show with that song in. Did you? Yeah, as a character. What character we're going were to you? The zoo, zoo, <laughs> jazz like that. Nice and jazzy. How about you, you, you? Yes, all the animals as kids. Oh, happy days. Just as well, I wasn't singing and doing that while I had the guillotine in my I hand. Eh? <laughs> we're going to, to the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, I've worked many years as a kids entertainer. Can you believe it? Can you believe that? Can you believe can it? Can you believe me working with kids entertainers? That's why we get on so well. It's like entertaining a child. Because, exactly. <laughs> I yeah. bring out the balloons, do a couple of magic tricks. I'm like, wow. Yeah. It's a balloon. I know we've got no balloons. I can do balloon modelling, but there is no balloons. No. I'm why that. Why would there be, be bl modelling balloons here? I'm that immature 37 year old, you know, with balloon making and seeing what funny things that could be made. Yeah. So that's how I tell you, that's how we get on so well. Uh, like Beth Malone on YouTube, watching it in the back as my infant granddaughter will not be denied attention. Beth, where are you watching? Tell me more. What, what do you mean you're watching in the back? The back of a car? As my infant granddaughter will not be denied attention. I see. So I'm guessing you're in the back of a car. Your granddaughter's in the back of the car as well. And you've gone. All right, yeah, we love you, but... You but... Know, crap, this TV's on. Yeah, absolutely. It's time. Three hours in the afternoon, three hours in the evening. It's like my time now, isn't my it? Time. My time. It's the my time. I love you, granddaughter, or grandson, or son or daughter, but it's my time. Yeah. The remote's mine. This is my time, and I don't give a damn. What <laughs> song's that? Is that something I'm, from the West End or something, is it? This is my... My life. This is my life. I'm, yeah, a bit of Bassey, a bit of Shirley Bassey. Okay. Fun fact, me and Shirley Bassey say, uh, share the same birthday. That's why, for a split second, when you were listening to me sing, you went, is that Shirley Bassey's on the Is that Shirley TV? Bassey? Yeah, Elvis Presley, celebrity birthdays, Stephen Hawkins, David Bowie, and Shirley Bassey. All the 8th of January. Great. No, 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 I'm, uh, because my dad, when I was born, uh -huh. he, um, he, he, bless him, he was telling me this story the other night. 
that when my mum went, was having me, he got told, well, actually, Sharon's not going to be, that's my mother, he's going to be a few more days. So my mum was like, don't worry, go out, go enjoy yourself. Uh, it, was, it was very merry when I was born. Was and he? wanted to call me Elvis. Luckily, my mother stopped him to that one. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have become Elvis Aiket. Yeah, Elvis Aiket, could you imagine that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. I love Elvis, but I wouldn't want to be called Elvis Aiken. No, no, Elvis Aiken. Talking of good quality acts, look at this. Look at that. I like that. I like what you've done there. (laughs) All that I've done is have taken my black mat card. So I created a five by seven card blank and then obviously fold it in half. And then what I've done is I fold it in half again, scored the line and created the fold back. Pop my layer over the top of foam pads. I've taken my birthday sentiment. So the uh, the luxury card is actually from the Care and Thoughts collection. And then what I've also done is I've used the Positive Thoughts 12 by 12 pad. And then from the Enchanted Dreams Magical Sentiments. That's where the sentiments from. And a little ribbon bow that you can see there. So you either put a white panel in the middle to write on or a white panel on the back for you to yep. write on. But there we go. So as if you did not think that you could enhance your 3D embossing anymore, you could pop your metal shim in. I don't do it all the time. No. But you can, if you want to just enhance it even more, it's a nice way to enhance your 2D embossing folders as well, popping the metal shim in. But there we go, using the gilding wax. That was, of course, the gilding wax and being the king gold. But look at that, spectacular, in my opinion. It really is. Uh, Lean on Facebook, beautiful Craig card. Beth, wow, Craig, that is brilliant. And apparently, nine little girls on YouTube says that Craig, they're going to the zoo, was a song by Rafi. He's, and Rafi, he must have been a sim- I think he's like the, the Wiggles, but in the States. Okay. So I was watching a Simpsons episode the other day, and they did a, and it was from a few years ago, and they, were, they had someone on there, and they were taking the mic out of him. So it yeah. makes sense. Rafi, I think his name is. There was, there was something that, going off topic, but still yeah. on about the Simpsons, and we won't go into all the details, we've got so much to do. But isn't it how weird that, that Simpsons can do episodes of certain things, and then it actually happens in life years later? Yeah. I was reading about that the other day. If you've never heard anything like that, go on to Google and stuff like that Simpsons and read about it. Yeah. It's Freaky ass. 32 years it's been going. Wow. Really, I think. Uh, guys, loads of great deals for you as well. Gilding waxes, you've just seen them then. You've got a great deal for you. Take a look at this. You're getting five gilding waxes within the collection. Uh, you're getting those four, uh, five brilliant colours. You're getting the different golds. You are getting the Empire gold, silver, antique gold. You're getting the Renaissance gold and you're getting the King gold. Um, the silver you are getting for free. Uh, that is an incredible little deal for you as well. Um, this is a great little collection, which loads of you love. Remember, $47.96, $67.96. Again, Club Inspire Platinum price as well. You're buying four, you're getting one for free. Great little price. Hey, sorry. <laughs> I just went, I want my dance, but okay, I'm back. <laughs> I went, and breathe. We've also, as well, got the Everyday Pattern Stencil Six Pack Collection. La- this is the very sticky, it's, uh, it's the wood grain. Whoop. Uh, is the uh, six pack collection. These are huge, 60% saving, as huge as the discount. Uh, £19.17, $23.88. Now it's very important to remember you don't need to use all the stencil. I'm sure Craig will show you that, but they are massive. You're getting so much for your money in this. This is the wood grain. You've also as well got this, the wonderful then, the uh, sketched squirrel, no swirls, not sw- squirrels. These are swirls. Uh, you've also as well, uh, Craig just gave me a very funny look. Uh, this is the course, the wonderful dots and spots. Dots and spots, and you've got natural stone. Oh, wow, I love that. And you've also got deco dials. Again, you don't, uh, just such nice little cards, which are going to make things a little bit um, Chesterfield leather. Sorry, the cards, just put it out the back of that. And that is the last one in this great collection. I mean, that is just beautiful as well. £19.17, uh, $23.88. A great collection for you. Uh, 60% off on that. Also, we've also got these great stencils for you. Which ones do you want to do next, Georgina? They're set of five. I know which ones you mean. They're botanical gardens. Yes, my dear. We can do these ones for you. Uh, the everyday, another collection for you on stencils. The botanical garden is this perfect, a brilliant little collection. The leaf stencil. Again, I just love these because they just add so much to your cards. You've got as well hearts, the confetti hearts. You've got zigzags, the rick rack. Rick rack. You've got uh, scattered dots. 
and stars and spots. Perfect for the 4th of July on these. Uh, remember, 60% off on them. £11.98, $15.90. That incredible platinum price as well of £9.58, $12.72. I've not seen these ones before, and I really like these. The Pigment Ink Backgrounds, seven stencil selection. I've not seen these before, and I absolutely adore them. Uh, first of all, you've got the wonderful Love Hearts. Love Hearts. Um, you've also, as well, within this collection, God, I mean, just look at that, how good that is, the scattered foliage. If you're doing that with your inks, that, for me, is a card. You put a sentiment on that, and you've got a card. Just so incredible. And stencils that I think are often forgotten about, as well, within the media. Cute florals. Again, another great little collection. You've got the abstract swirls. I mean, if you never saw Ben Mosby in a stencil, there it is for you. You've also, as well, got the rose flor uh, rosebud florals. And the beautiful butterflies, again, you, I saw that earlier when you embossed that, that embossed example earlier with that, that is just brilliant. And the polka dots. I mean, they're just so versatile and so good, so good. I'm going to take your card to that next level. So I've not seen these before and I love them. £23, uh, £25.15, $33.39. And remember that Club Inspire Platinum price as well. $20.12, £26.71. 60% off on that, guys. Uh, not sorry, 60%, 30% off on that, guys. If that is yours to your day. Loads coming up for you. Uh, Valerie Fisher on Facebook. Love you guys. Very entertaining. Very entertaining. Well, thank you. We try to be. Um, guys, got loads coming up for you today as well. Uh, remember that wonderful Get It Got It Good deal. Here it is. The Crafters Company and Craft, uh, Craft 3 box collection. Over 625 elements. Box 37, 43 and 44. At uh, 49 uh, pounds dollars, you're getting one of the boxes for free. They are a great little collection. We're going to be launching a brand new box tonight. Myself and Debbie uh, Robinson tonight here at uh, 6 p.m. here in the UK, 1 p.m. East Coast Pacific Time, 10 a.m. You're getting the silhouettes, uh, stencils and silhouette stamps. You're getting the edibles and you're getting the pop-up character craft kit absolutely free. Perfect. 39.98 uh, platinum price as well. Great collection. Also, we shown you earlier the slimline cut and emboss folders brilliant collection a lot of love for these today nine pieces within these 87 pounds 69 19 dollars 19 15 again 25 percent off and sorry not 25 percent off on these uh, you are getting 35 percent off on these i mean a great little collection remember as well you can buy three for 33 pounds 38 dollars but the best price is that one you see on screen there 87 pounds 69 99 dollars 50 alternatively that club inspire price as well what a great collection so we've seen some great deals, some great stencils as well. Done some embossing. We got gilding wax stencils, Craig. I think you know you love a stencil, and I think a lot of people forget how good stencils are, especially those new ones. I've not seen them ones, them pigment ink ones. These are brilliant little stencils. That are, you know, and the, the work so well with the pigment ink pads. But of course, you don't have to use pigment ink pads. You can use any of the inks, do any of your texture or your techniques that you tend to do but they do uh, work in conjunction really well with your pigment. So what we're going to do is I've got a few strips together and a few panels. So I've got white smooth stamping card, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Then I've got two strips that are two and a quarter by five and a quarter. So with these ones, I am going to use my scattered foliage. Yep. And then what we're going to do is I've got another strip here that's five and a quarter by one and three quarters. And then I've got two panels that are two and a quarter by one and three quarters. And when it comes to these ones, I'm going to use the abstract swirls. Yep. And then when it comes to our pigment ink pads, for both of them, I'm going to use Oasis and Green Topaz, which are in the bundle yes, that absolutely. we've got today. And then what I'm going to do, George, is instead of using my blending tools, mm -hmm. I'm going to be using our little finger daubers. I'm not sure, Georgine, if they're on the show or not, um, but I'm going to use these ones. So they're not on the show, but double check the website. If they are currently out of stock, you can use your blending tools. Yep. But because we want to have, so they are out of stock, pop your email address in. If you are uh, keen to get a hold of them, pop your email address in. Once they're back in stock, then you'll get an alert to say they're back in stock. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but 
In the meantime, you can use your blending tool and dab instead of blending. But while we've got these ones, these do work well with the pigment. So that's what I'm going to use. Perfect. And as you can see, you pointed that out before with your 12 by 12 stencils, you don't have to use them no. all. So my five and a quarter by five and a quarter is smaller than my stencil, of course. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay it. And to give myself a little bit of a helping hand, George, I'm going to simply tape down the corner. And I am pretty much only doing the corner. Yep. And then I can do the same with a stencil. I'm going to put a little lever at the top with a piece so I can lift it and close it. Perfect. And then you don't have the worry of blending if you are using these ones because we're going to dab it. Yep. But what I'm going to do is let's use one for green topaz, one for oasis. And then what I'm going to do in sections, I'm going to go in with the oasis first. Yeah. Then I'm going to go in with the green topaz and kind of blend them out together. Nice. We're going to build that colour up, which is what the pigment ink pads do really, really yeah. well. Love it. Uh, loads of you get in touch. Loads of you loving the price of those sub boxes, uh, the subscription boxes, the craft kit boxes. Uh, Mary's just gone, wow, the prices on those boxes are incredible. Remember as well that you're getting one for free. Also in this show today, I want to say, you've got it under here, it's box number, I can't remember off the top of my head, I'm coming back, box 39 is on the show today at that incredibly ridiculous price as well. Uh, it's incredible. If you want to get ahead on your craft kits, or maybe you're missing out on a couple of them, uh, again, have a look on the website. We've got a wonderful get got a good deal. Getting yourself ready for the launch day, at uh, launch party, should I say. We've got us party hats, myself and Debbie Robinson, back here at 6 p.m. in the UK, 1 p.m. East Coast time, 10 a.m. over on the Pacific time, uh, with our brand new kit box number 45. Uh, it's going to be a good show. I'm very excited. And we're going to be looking back at some amazing launches we've had over the couple of weeks, plus some previews of launches that are coming up uh, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, all with Craig, actually. Two. I'm with Craig tomorrow for a launch. Ben's with Craig on uh, Thursday. And I'm back with uh, Craig over there in the corner uh, Hi. on Friday. <laughs> Bless you, Georgina and me here, making me jump like that. Maybe self jump. Uh, Pam on YouTube. Ooh, he's using my favourite stencil. This one on black with gold or silver metallic ink is gorgeous. Beautiful. Love it. And I, do you know what I forget, which we've not even touched upon with stenciling today, because we've got some great stencils on the show, is using your dice to stencil with. I know you, when you show me this technique every single time, Craig, I go, oh my goodness, I forget you can do that with stencils and dice. To emboss with them. Yeah, but then you dye, you can stencil with them as well. Oh, so, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely, but you, you can, can do. with them as well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can do, yeah. So many things that you can do with your stencils. They really are one of those, they're, they're always thought of as being impressive, but they are always, seems to be the last thought. You, yeah. you sometimes forget about them and what you can achieve with your stencils. And it's something that are really handy to have. The thing is as well, they don't take a lot of room. No. You know, they're in a really nice slim package. So therefore, they don't take a lot of room up. So you can have a, a nice selection or a collection at the side of your desk. So it just jogs your memory every and now and again. As well, they are. Yeah. They are. They really, really are. And you sometimes find some companies, instead of going down the route of embossing folders, what they'll do is they'll use stencils instead. Yeah. Because you can use them like an embossing folder. Now, you're not going to get the same depth if you were to yeah. emboss it, but still, you get that kind of uh, embossing folder feel and look to it because you've got that embossed design. Yeah. And that's simply by using your purple embossing mat. And in the words of Shania Twain, that don't impress me much. But that does impress me. I couldn't think of a song. I hope so. I know it does. I was saying, what was that? It was something you said earlier, which made me think of Shania Twain. And then Shania Twain's been going around in my head. And in your head. Sometimes I need to, I sometimes and things happen in my head and I have to say them. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't, I, look, there's a lot of things, okay? I don't know what it is. I got, no, no. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Having fun. George just turned me off. He's, he's, just, he's just switched it off. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, I yeah, go back it's, a little time loop. It's when you get a song that you sticks in your head, doesn't yeah. it? There is a song, right, which came on in on like Amazon and went, This is a great song, which we think you like. It's called The Last Shanty. It's like a sea shanty song by this Irish band. Please tell me you've not only just heard that for the first time. Well the uh 
when I was just a lad. We might have da 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 Have you heard it? Have you not heard Ben's version? Well, the last chat. No, I'm not thinking. There once was a thing. Da 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 All not right. That one. Oh, not that no, one. No, no, another one. And it's by this Irish band called The Last Shanty. And it. You YouTube it, Google it, play it, ask your devices, play it. It is brilliant. I was like so hooked on it. You know, when you play something 20 times. Yeah. I'm like, repeat this song. It's such a catchy little. What's it called? The Last Shanty. Okay, Doc. Are you ready for this? Mm hmm. Are you ready? Alexa, play The Last Shanty. I'm sorry. I can't understand your accent. <laughs> if, if ever... I have no issues whatsoever. Thank you very much with Alexa. Understand. Sorry if your Alexa goes <laughs> off again. <laughs> Hey, Google. No, I'm joking, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there uh, a Google one, is there? Yeah, there's uh, Google. Uh, the Apple phones. Apple phones, iPhones. Siri. Yeah, Apple phones. <laughs> Everyone knows what they are. Yeah. <laughs> the Apple phones. Oh, <laughs> yes, the Apple phone. Um, <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, brilliant. Rachel says she can have a listen tonight on the socials. Have a listen. It's a great little song and it's by this lovely lady and she sings this song about being about the last shanty. It's a great little song and I was like, I was in the room giving it the full beans, dancing to it, pretending I could do the Irish jig. I can't. The Red Hot Chili Pipers. We love the Red Hot Chili Pipers. Craig loves Red Hot Chili Pipers. I do. Thank you, Georgina. It is lovely. A mix of... Uh, uh, no one famous tunes, but with the bagpipes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rachel's just gone, I'm now waiting for all the messages coming in about Alexa. <laughs> yeah, I know, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's Craig, not me. Not Craig, I, I do didn't do it. I was lovely. I do like to do that every now and again. Sorry, guys. Pat says paper hooks. went, oh, goodness, thanks for that. Alexa is playing now. <laughs> Good song, isn't it? Good well, song. see, everyone now instantly knows what you're on about, George, those that have got Alexa. Yeah. And there we keep saying it, we're really oh, no, sorry. Sorry. Right, stencil. Oh, look at that one. Look. It reminds me of a Hawaiian shirt. Look at that one. Sort of shirt Ben would have. But look at that. So all that I need to do is lift that up now. And because, look, we can see that shine to it. And that's because this is the one that stays open longer. It stays uh, wet. So if you wanted to put your embossing powder over the top, you can. Leave it to kind of dry, kind of like naturally. Or you can go over it with a heat tool that we might do just in a moment. Yep. What I'm not going to do is I'm going to bring in the one ones that I've done earlier and I didn't go as heavy handed so you can see the difference but what I will do is I will do the same with one of these strips with the other stencil that I said I was going to use and if I'm not using a spray I do find it easier to tape my cardstock down onto my glass mat because these are smaller oh this one's not even been opened because my cardstock strips or panels are smaller than my stencil they can have that tendency to move underneath so that's why I like to secure it either with the spray or just using a piece of low tack tape to hold it and what I can do is let's pop a bit I'm just going to hold that into here and then I'm still using the same colour, the Oasis and the green topaz. Yeah. I'm going to come in and I'm going to do the same this way. I'm not really doing it in a specific order. I'm just going to randomly tap out the colour from the Oasis and then we can come along with the colour from the green topaz. And as I say, with these ones here, I'm showing you how you can really make it stand out by being quite impactful with the amount of colour you use. But then if we go with the strips that I've already pre-done, it goes to show you, of course, like you would tend to think, the lighter you use, the less time that you dab the colour on, then the more lighter yeah. it will be. So have Large a play. I coming about what you've done to them, Craig. I just, I, what I'd love to see is just someone in Amazon HQ going, John, 25... <laughs> Hundreds of people have all said the same song instantly. About, if it's in the charts this weekend, we know why. We've just, we've just put it on the place, it's gone right to number one. Uh, but it is a good song, Patty, uh, Pat says. And Crowd Crafty Tammy, Crowd Cap. Card Crafty Tammy on YouTube has gone, thank you for that, Craig. My so-and-so went off the minute you said that. Uh, Patty heard, I love stencils and bought the collection when it was first launched. Caroline on YouTube, these stencils are good. They are good. I've not seen them before as well. I, I can't believe it. I've not seen it. Sometimes I come in here and go, I've seen everything. I, I'm never. I'm always lost for words. Something new every day. Yeah. Uh, loads of it. Uh, Helen's got it playing on every device in her house, currently the song. <laughs> it's a good feel-good song. 
He wants to make you drink whiskey. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and I know the feeling because I've got um, I've got mm -hmm. her. Yeah. In my kitchen, I've also got her in my living room, and it was in my upstairs hall, but I've now moved her to my craft room. So yeah, it just blares ev everywhere. My friend James has a large house. He's got one in every room. I want to say he's got ten devices <gasps> in his room. Gosh, his I house. thought three was bad. In, in one house, he's got one in the kitchen. He has got one in the living room, which have all got smart light bulbs. He's got one on the landing. I've got a lot of smart light bulbs. I do as well. It's so cool. Especially, but you know what it is? Especially when you're doing jobs like when you sometimes get home a little bit late at night and. And you live by yourself and you just want to make sure it feels like somebody's at home just put on the uh, light bulbs uh, but look at that craig that is beautiful so even on a little strip yeah you know what i mean you can be selective alternatively what what you could do is if you wanted to stencil through the full seven by seven and then cut it up but this goes to show you proving george's point that you know you don't have to use uh, full sheets of card you can simply do little panels if you want so what I'm going to do, to give it a little bit of help in hand as well, is use our heat tool just to kind of heat set it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I do like my, um, my smart plugs. I do as well. And the good thing is as well, that I know you can set it on like groups and timers yeah. and that. I don't, but by having the uh, app, you know, I could, as it starts to go dark, and if I'm stuck at work or traffic or that, go into the app and just switch, yeah. switch my light I on. Did, or... the, outside, the, the outside bulb, I've got a little outside lamp, and instead of putting a smart device, I put a smart light bulb in there. Yeah. So that's on a timer, and then when I'm away, <laughs> So the burglars don't think <laughs> they think there's somebody in the house. It's on a little schedule. So, just go, so if I am away for a long period of time, like I am this week, I'm, I'm away from home for five days. I want, you know, the lights come on. They just give the burglars something. You told me about that a while ago. You know, certainly at night time, yes. you know, you could have the hall light on for, I don't know, maybe an hour. And yeah. then the upstairs light will go on for 10 minutes. And then another, so that... If you're not in, if there is anyone trying to do a home alone, then they'll be uh, put off because yeah. they'll think that there's someone going around the house. I mean, technology nowadays is just wow, isn't it? I know. Wow, that you can do that. Do you know what technology blows my mind? What's that? Battery-powered glue guns. I lost my mind when I discovered a battery-powered glue gun. Did you? Uh, it, I, honestly, it, I know you were crafting. You yeah. Me, I was like, I never, I never see anything like it. Uh-huh. Bought, bought two. Um, <laughs> Do you actually use them, George? Uh, no, they're no, still in the package. There you go. The point is, I have them. It's the novelty, isn't thing. it? It's the novelty. I saw it when I need it. And that website has a lot to answer for me when I see stuff. I need that. You weren't in with uh, Lisa last week, were you? Lisa Horton, yes. Lisa evening. Horton. Yes. Did you see our little low tack dispenser? I mean, I know you were, well, we were We were on together. Was together. Oh my we're... God, we were on yeah, together. Yeah. Um, yeah, I bought one off of that Amazon site. Um, I, I bought one, yeah, it was cool. Alison says, I have so-and-so in my rooms and hooked up to all my lights. Sometimes it can be freaky when someone else in the house asks for a song or asks her a question. I have the, uh, what they call it ones, the uh, colour changing light bulbs. Mm. Well, you see what? Do, on, what, what do, do you know what I like to do? Go on. So because my main living room light, although the big light, though I don't have it on a lot, it is one of those uh, yeah. your smart lights and it can do different colours. So if I'm watching the wrestling and like Kane comes out and it's, it's just like black but with red as he walks out, I'll get Alexa to put a red light on so that my whole living room is just shining red and on the TV, Kane's walking out with the red. Granted, I don't know what my neighbours would think at night time when there's a red light shining from my living room, here's to say. But then if, I don't know, if D-Generation X are coming out, Triple H and Shawn Michaels, it's green, so I'll put the light on green. So it's kind of like um, I'm there, John's just in the corner smirking away. So that's the fun that you can have with your, uh, your smart lights yeah. that are I, I mean, I did this a bit no, nicer at Halloween because it's a smart light bulb outside the house. Made it green. 
for the kids, so it's a little bit spooky. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's on YouTube, back to crafting. Do you just remind me what inks you used again, Craig? Of course Thank I can. So I used our pigment ink pads, yep. and I used Oasis, and I used green topaz. Perfect. And I didn't do any embossing powder or that. To give it a helping hand to heat set it, I went over with my heat tool. So that just stops it from smudging a little bit. And then all that I'm doing is I'm backing them onto a bit of black cardstock. Yeah. So here is the two that I've already done with these little panels. And then what we're going to do, using what we've done, we're going to create a Z fold card. And the full design is going to be from these stencils. Perfect. So we can pop these on. Don't know if you noticed there as well. I just pulled my hand right across and it didn't smudge or smear. So I know some people will say, oh, my pigment have uh, smeared, and that is because they do stay open longer. So either go over with a heat tool, let it set itself naturally, or go over with your embossing powder. Lovely. Uh, Caroline was saying she bought the exact same tape dispenser too, Craig, when uh, Lisa was on last week. I think a lot of people I think did. a lot of people had tape dispenser last week when Lisa Horton was on uh, Crafters TV. If you don't know what we're on about, remember you can watch back all our shows on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, if you've got a profile on YouTube, sir, create a little profile, like all our shows, you can create your own little profiles. Maybe you love all our launch shows, maybe you love all our master classes, create your own little playlist of all the shows. And remember, if you like us on Facebook, you'll be notified every time we go live so you can never miss any of the wonderful crafting fun had here on Crafters TV. Uh, Eve B on YouTube just done that exact same thing. Just, need, just save the show. I need to do more stenciling. Absolutely, we talk about it a lot. We, you know, Craig's a big advocate. He's a stencil advocate. I, I see so you, you <laughs> sorry, it? wrestling alert coming. Whenever you say advocate, I always think of Paul Heyman with Roman Reigns because he's, know. um, well, either him or Brock Lesnar's advocate. I always just think of The Undertaker. The only wrestler I know is The Undertaker. The only wrestler I know is The Undertaker. Where am I from? You're right there, John, <laughs> laughing in the corner. Was that funny, was it, mate? Yeah? I think it was, I think it was more, more Geordie, wasn't it, then? I don't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know if it was Geordie. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, right, dear. John's laughing in the corner. I saw you did an interview earlier this morning, John. See, John was on the crafters... Uh, Wake up call, craft chat and create this morning with Bud Mosby and uh, Debbie Fisher. Debbie Fisher had the giggles this morning. She's always got the giggles. She was laughing at Trump's, not him, just like, you know. Oh, little, little ones like that. Yeah. Toilet humour. Toilet humour. Well, we, we don't do we that don't in this do place. That. We don't laugh at jokes like that. No, no. We Wendy Pops don't make us laugh. Well, we're the best. <laughs> We are the uh, best in our price range. Right, loads of you getting in touch for today's show. Uh, remember, just, I, I can't believe the time's going on this. It's flying in, isn't it? Five minutes left. Don't forget, 6 p.m., 1 p.m. in the East Coast, 10 a.m. for you guys, Pacific time. Uh, we have got a brand new launch in Launch Party. We're having a party. Uh, tonight, myself and Debbie Robinson with that brand new craft kit. We've got some great craft kits on as well uh, today. Uh, Cheryl, I love your wrestling addiction, Craig. My boys were so into it in the late 90s and early 2000s. So I know all the wrestlers you talk about good memories and scrap paper scissors on YouTube. You have no idea. <laughs> Bless you, scrap paper scissors. You have no idea how long it took me to figure out a Z fold meant Z fold. As in Z-E-D fold meant Z fold. Z fold. Uh, that's hey. what it's for. But yeah, I, I don't, I, I'm not an avid weekly follower of the WWE nowadays because there's that many hours of live show a week. I don't have time to watch it. No. But I do, I do dip in um, and keep a track on it online. But I am, um, I am more into the AEW at the moment, but yeah. But then while we've been having a wee chat away there by creating our card, and as you said, needing to use in stencils a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to use background papers for something, instead of using background papers, why not take one of your stencils out and then ink it that way? So then you're creating your inky background instead of a patterned paper background. But for a beautiful friend, thank you so much. And then there we go. So that was white smooth stamping card. 
that was our black card and then pigment ink pads oasis and green topaz it, z fold card because it's like a z it really is actually i just realized what scrap posters meant uh the wonderful rachel explained it because obviously z fold z fold mm -hmm. so the z fold uh, sorry it's because because you put z fold then z and then the z uh z fold z yeah uh caroline complicated yeah. than it actually is <laughs> that one what <laughs> like an egyptian the wonderful caroline french on youtube <laughs> Is. I just looked up at the wrong time. Uh, Caroline French, this is my absolute favourite style of card. It's made possible by wonderful stencils. Again, a great collection. Seven different designs uh, there for you. Head to the website to see more. We've got some great deals. That getting going good deal, which loads of you are loving. Remember, three craft kit boxes uh, that we've got for you. You're paying for two. You're getting one for free. Number 37, 43 and 44. Ahead of tonight's brand new launch of 45 on Launch Party with myself and Debbie Robinson. We've got here number 43, which is all about silhouette stencils and stamps. Uh, remember, if you've not seen our craft kit boxes before, where have you been? You're getting everything in there to get yourself started on that wonderful crafting journey. It does say it makes a minimum of 18 cards. However, we tell you that every time. Ignore that. Over 220 elements. You open it up. Boom. And I say this every time, if you wish. I'm only joking, but you can draw glasses on Sarah's face. Whatever you want, I'm joking. I wouldn't dare do that. Uh, guys, <laughs> sound like I would. I wouldn't. Uh, you open it up and it got everything there. You've got the little website as well, craftiscompanionbox.com. You can see so much about these wonderful uh, craft kits. Open it up. Now, yours will all be packaged up nice and beautiful in lovely little envelopes, but this one has been a bit loved here on Crafters TV. Uh, you're getting everything inside. So when it says 18 cards, it means because you get 18 card blanks of different sizes. So do not think you're just getting, you know, it says 18 cards, but actually you can do so much with these on these cards. It's up to you with your paper stands, uh, with your paper cards and everything, paper cards and your wonderful uh, stacks of paper and card, make your own card blanks. You're getting watercolor card in there as well. Also, you're gonna get so many goodies. This is what we wanna see, the goodies we're getting for you. Ribbons, different colors. You get that wonderful uh, turquoise, that peach and that yellow in those different thicknesses as well. You're gonna get the gems that correspond with that as well. Again, you can have so much fun with these craft kits. Perfect for kids newbies and um, then because we're talking about stencils well this is what we're all about tonight you're getting so many stencils within this little craft kit for you again there's so much to play with within here i mean i just don't know where to start in fact i'm going to use some black card because to make sure you can see these stencils a little bit later better you're getting that wonderful woodland scene you're going to get the wonderful uh, like frame of sorts. You're going to get as well so many different little designs and stencils. Again, you're going to get the wonderful uh, leafy kind of borders as well. Trees, mushrooms, uh, toadstools. You're going to get this as well. You're going to get the negative, the positive and the negative there. So you can do that with it. You've also as well got the positive and negative for this one as well. Again, there it is, positive and negative for you there to play with. And you've also got the positive and negatives for this wonderful landscape scene as well, allowing you, like you've seen Craig doing today, playing with all those different techniques, doing those, all the different styles. You're also, as well, got a positive and negative for the big moon as well, the moon, the moon, the big, big moon, uh, there for you as well. As well, within here, you're getting stamps galore as well. All different stamps. Once upon a time, you've got a Christmas cheer. Have a magical day. Embrace your inner flamingo. That's right, embrace it. Uh, today is a good day to smile. True love. <laughs> Sparkle all the way. Aliens are here. Uh, joy to the world. Happiness. And again, you've also as well <laughs> got these wonderful little stamps as well. There's just a little noise in our ear. We're not a door in it's our like, ear. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? It's like. Do you know what it's like? It's like, it's like, so, it's like someone's going on the mic and tapping it, but it's, it's none of the gallery. Uh, John's at the side here. It's not. Um, so I don't know. It's someone's like. Oh, it's maybe. It's Adam. Uh, uh, we are getting. We had ET this morning as well. And you're also getting the stamps as well. 
I, I, I'm, yeah, it's like a voice pecker right in my ear. Uh, you're also getting these wonderful little stamps as well with the wonderful little fairy, Father Christmas on his sleigh, the reindeer, the flamingos, the moon and the stamp. Plus, if that wasn't enough for you, you're getting paper again. You're going to get in here wonderful patterns, you're going to get the leaves, you're going to get the dots and you get a wonderful solid cardstock as well. This is just one of the other craft kits that you're getting in here. This is just one of the craft kits in this wonderful Get It Got It Good deal. You're getting so, I mean, I'm putting it all back in there. Yours is going to be, you know, so much better. You're going to have all the different envelopes and that is just one of the craft kits you are going to receive today. That's just one of them. You're paying for two of them. You're getting this one for absolute free. That is just incredible. Don't forget, we are launching that brand. I was getting excited. That was crazy. Not me. I'm getting excited. You also, as well, on today's show, we've got a chance for you to get another craft kit at £15. dollars. It's an embossing folder craft kit. Perfect for you to get on with your embossing folders. This is not part of you getting got a good deal. This is its separate own entity. But at £15 or dollars, that is a ridiculously cheap price. And what you get, you've just seen what you get in that embossing folder. You're going to get them pretty much the exact same within this as well. Apart from embossing folders, cards, ribbons, so much within it. Let's open it up. Again, that minimum of 24 cards, 220 elements. When we talk about the minimum of 24 cards, we mean that because you're getting the cards blanks and the envelopes. So, you know, if we take that, there's 24 cards worth of envelopes and cardstock. Let's get rid of that because what we want to see is the fun stuff. You know what card blanks, you know what envelopes look like. Starting off, first of all, with the stamps. You're looking here, celebrate your day, uh, sending you wishes. Uh, life is beautiful. The secret ingredient is always love. You deserve a very special day. Again, a great little collection and you are beautiful to me. Then you're also going to be getting in this wonderful set these wonderful embossing folders. Again, what a great introduction to get you started into embossing folders. You first of all got a wonderful uh, dot. You've also got this wonderful swirls as well. And you've also got the wonderful zigzags as well within this box. Plus as well, embossing and die cutting in one. A wonderful edgeable die slash emboss. You see that wonderful metal edge around there. It's going to be able to go on the edge of your paper and emboss and die one pass through your Gemini machine for you. Then as well, you've also, as well within this box, got those wonderful ribbon sets in those wonderful complementing colours, that wonderful yellow, pink and green, plus the gems and jewels to go alongside it and paper pads galore. Again, another great collection. You've got the wonderful pattern papers and you've also, as well, Got those wonderful card solids as well. Beautiful colours, complementing, all working together. Plus, they're the envelopes at the bottom as well. There's nothing saying you can't use the envelopes within your designs. That is just one of the boxes that you can buy separately. Not part of your uh, get, get a good deal, but guys, at that incredible price, 40% off, £15. Dollars. What an incredible saving that is. Plus... It looks really nice on your shelf, all stacked up. Uh, we've got loads more demos as well coming up for you. Uh, I'm sorry, just look at the platinum price on that as well. $12, 12 pounds. Incredible. Uh, guys, we've got 45 minutes left. All about embossing, all about stencils. Remember, if you want to get your uh, questions in, like the wonderful Clarice has, she's asking, which number box is this, George? This is number 39, this one that you've seen on the screen now. Number 39, this box here. If you wonder what to talk about, Every craft kit box has a number on there for you. That's number 39. The ones within the Get It Got It Good deal are 37, 43 and 44. This one is a separate one. Uh, if you've got any more questions about embossing or stencil, I'll give you some time to get those in. I'll see you shortly. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today.
Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Yes, welcome back to Crafters TV, brought to you by Crafters Companion. My name is Jill Jacob. Just over 40 minutes left now of this incredible masterclass. It's all about embossing. It's all about stenciling. Loads of love today. We've had a great time, myself and Craig here. For the next 40 minutes, answer any of your uh, embossing or maybe stenciling questions. Also, some great deals, some great offers. Head to the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu. You'll see our little show there, masterclass. Click shop the show. You see everything that we've got for you in the show including these the slimline cut and embossing folder nine piece collection a great deal a great price loads of you loving this today uh, it's incredible you're getting a great little price here just incredible at a wonderful ridiculously low price 87 pounds 69 pence 99 dollars 15, 35% uh, off. Remember guys, you can buy them individually, you can buy them separately. Three, four, 33, or 38 pounds. Um. Oh no, 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 no. See, see if I was uh, like immature and at school, I would be like, <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you. Um, so, I'll carry on like nothing's happened. <laughs> Here they are, all beautiful and elegant, like me. Uh, guys, they are the cutting and embossing folders. When we talk about cutting and embossing, you can see there these wonderful little butterflies in the uh, wonderful butterfly delight. The wonderful embossing, uh, embossing, and then inside there, you see little greys? That's your die within there. You get in an embossing and die. One pass to the Gemini, one pass is all it takes. Uh, again, flourishing florals, flowers, this is it. It's downward, downwards from a deer. Uh, dear, my dear. You've got spring blooms. You've got the wonderful interlocking circles. Again, the interlocking hearts. Interlocking squares. You've also got square chevrons. You've got the wonderful happy hearts. And you've also got the pretty polka dots. Uh, a great little collection. Wonderful and great price. Remember, platinum price, £70. Just ignore that. £70.15, $79.32. Uh, guys, no, <laughs> Craig, what a great... George, really went, and close up on the patch shop. No, George, it's broken. Uh, guys, Clarice just went, George just pulled a Joe. A bump? Oh, is that what Joe does? That's what Joe does. Professionals, that's why. Oh, uh, if you're a Crate and Craft uh, viewer, then you've just done a Martin Parker. Craig, what else have you got for us? 
<laughs> let's uh, let's show you what you could be doing with these cut and emboss folders here. And there's so so much that you can be doing with them because always remember be using what would be the waste. There is no waste, but if that's what the way you want to look at it, then you can be popping the uh, die cuts back in. So the actual embossed area has then been lifted on foam pads. The hearts have been popped back in flat with your choice of adhesive and add in your own little words or sentiments if you want to. But then you can then start to use them to create shakers. I mean, look at that. You could be creating the shakers or you've got your sequins, your microbeads, your glitters, whatever it is, popping all the way through. But then what about your little character? So we've got our characters from, you know, any of our character collections. You might want to use your peekaboo collections from the other year, so they're just peeping all the way through. Then we've got this floral one. So I showed you earlier on how these ones work, but what you could do, run the folder through your pattern paper a few times and then snip out the florals, layer them back on so you get a completely different look. It's like three layers of florals on that one there. Then doing your letterpress technique and going over with your glitters or your sparkles that you can see there because within some of them you've got the elements that die cut out and some of them, for instance this one here, the wings cut out but the body stays in place so that works really well. Then the square ones are really, really exquisite here with your um, um, chinoiserie collection yeah. that we can see here. It's really nice shapes, whether it's the plain circles or offset circles, like you can see on this one here, door, this one, you know, you've got all that different fancy look. So you've got the die cut elements, but you've got the embossed elements as well. It's a little bit of a play on your eye for that one there. And then this one's like a computer game, you know, where they're kind of chasing you around the board or something like that. You've got that look, you can be using it as a shaker. And then within this one here, doing something similar earlier on, we would do a letterpress technique, but then we've also gone over with our waxes, we've gone over with our Midas ink pad, and then recut the folder again in red cardstock, snip them out, and then layered them on top of each other. So yes, you can absolutely run them through your die cutting machine and create a really quick, simple card that looks really quite detailed and something that you'll spend a while doing, or if you want to just carry on for an hour, two hours, and really get in deep with the crafty uh, elements that you can do. You can do that. You can do whatever you like. They're yours. Hi there. Hello. So, oh, John just giving me Sorry. sign language. I was like, yeah, no, good chat. Yeah, I was listening to what you're saying. I promise you, Craig. Fixed it. Fixed it. Hey. Tracy who? Uh, guys. Oh, she can't hear me. She's out there. Uh, don't. She loves me. Don't she, Tracy? I can't. She can't hear me. Uh, the wonderful slim cut and slim line cutting embossed folders. Nine piece collection. Also for you today, the wonderful 3D embossing folders. I only launched a uh, couple of weeks ago with myself and Craig uh, for a change because you know, that's what we love to do. I'll wait our <laughs> launch days. Uh, these are the wonderful 3D frame embossing. 12 piece collection. These are incredible because you're getting different size embossing folders. You're not just getting your standard uh, A5 or A6, you're getting different sizes. Again, this is your 5.5 inches by 5.5 inches. Uh, 5.5 squared. You're also going to get in slim lines as well. You're getting them here, the elegant frames. You've also got as well the exquisite blooms. And I was going to speak, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> I just couldn't speak. And you've also got it here, the A6 size, the entangled roses. Uh, different ones as well for you. You've got the wonderful luscious lilies. Whenever you see lilies, I always want to be like, all oh, the single lilies, all oh, oh, the single lilies. lilies. I don't know why. I just put do. You, put your stems up. Uh, you've got as well the elegant flourish. Flourish? Flourish. We're going to wait to use that one next. <laughs> so which one? This one? No, yeah, that's that, it. Sorry. So I was, you were still singing, weren't I you? I was. I was like, oh, that's a good sound. Swirling laces. You've also got the classic lace, not to be confused with black lace, famous for Agadu. You've also got lovely lace. You've got as well the embellished lace. Intricate filigree. Lace. Oh, no, it's not filigree. Lace. No. no, I was waiting on you saying lace, because these ones back to back were like yeah, lace. lace. Nice intricate filigree and elegant swirls. Great collection at $53.49, $70.95. Remember, you can buy them individually. Spend over £40, pounds, you're going to get an extra 10% off. Platinum price as well, £42.79, 56 76 Craig, 
what are you going to show us next? We're going to have a look at this set here. We're going to be using the 8.25 by 3.25. So this one being the elegant flourish within this one here. And when we launched these one, George, they're so fun in the fact of we are used to maybe six by six folders yeah. or you know seven by sevens. We have done some DL folders in the past. So it's nice having all these different shapes when it comes to the folders. When it gets uh, smaller cards, larger cards, you, know, you can get as creative as you want when it comes to the cards. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Water Reactive. Now, we don't have Water Reactive on the show, but you can check out the colours that we've got on our website. So I'm going to go in with Pink Tulip. And this is a piece of watercolour card that I'm using. And I've cut it to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So basically, the the height, or the like, whatever way you're looking at it, the height of A4, and I've just trimmed it 3.25. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer this colour up, and it is essential for this one as to why I'm using watercolour card, and that will become apparent in a moment, although yeah. you've probably already guessed that I'm going to use water. So inking these ones up. The next one I was going to use was actually going to be fuchsia. But I think because I've got this pale, or sorry, pink tulip, I think I'm going to go for something a little darker, maybe something like a crushed velvet or something. So I'm going to go round the edges here. And where the colours join, I'm not necessarily overly concerned about the join being neat or blended out together. That doesn't uh, phase me. What I want to do is I just want to get that ink done and I yeah. really want to get it quite heavy in uh, colour layer so we can see. Now what I'm being careful because I just pulled up my cardstock there by mistake. Now if you do that any creases, any lines that you've just put in your cardstock will then get picked up by your ink pad. So if you don't want that then just be careful that you don't crease your card. But there is, so that one is your pink tulip. Yep. Now all that I'm going to do is let's go in with, I tell you what, let's go back, George, to, let's use plum jam again. Yep. Like we did earlier on. Actually, no, because that's along the same lines as pink tulip. Definitely this time, let's go in with uh, damson wine. I Here don't we know go. Start with ink pads. So many great colours. There's so many good on ones. Facebook. I love these embossing foils. I've been using embossing foils a lot more lately. I think they are becoming more as well, more popular, aren't they? I think it's back in. Yes, I, th I think because nowadays as well, George, they are so versatile. Beforehand, it was very, very simplistic folder that you run through, and there was very little that you could do. Yeah. Back, uh, uh, you know, even just a few years ago, you didn't have a big choice of ink pads, what reactive ink pads, blendable ink pads, embossed ink pads with the powders and that. You didn't have all of that. You had some, but not lots. So then having all of that as accessible as they are nowadays, it means that we can do so, so much more with our embossing folders. Mm. Instead of simply running it through and embossing, there's so much letterpress technique, yeah. embossing, really enhancing embossing with your metal shims going over with your inks, whether it's with blending pads or with the actual ink pads themselves, doing them into materials such, you know, things like your craft metal yeah, or, yeah. you know, adhesive sheets. And there's just so much that you can absolutely do with them. There really is. Uh, great deals on the website for you. For your embossing folders, head to their craftiscompanion.com.co.uk.eu. You can shop the show, have a look at everything that we've got for you. Some great deals. And uh, don't forget as well, we've got a demo of the show and getting you ready for our wonderful launch party, 6 p.m. here in the UK, 1 p.m. East Coast, Pacific Time, 10 a.m. It is massive, guys. If you want to see what we've got coming up for you there, head to the website, get ahead of the game, shop the show, uh, get, you know, beat your friends. You know what I mean? Sometimes you've got to be a bit selfish. Get your goodies, get your bargains while you can. You've and got to. We're going to be launching that brand new craft kit number 45. And Wait, then Debbie Robinson. She's going to be in soon, isn't she? Oh, she's in the show. She's in. I heard her before I saw her. Oh, did you? Yeah. If you can't wait until Monday Maker, certainly if you're here in the UK, then at half past five, I'm going to be next door in our other studio and I'm going to be on HSN's Facebook page. So for you guys stateside, that's 12.30 Eastern or 9.30am Pacific time. Yep. 
I'm going to be across on HSN's Facebook page. Lovely. So you can join us there. I think, uh, yeah, it will overlap slightly with Monday Makers. But just have Monday Makers on the big screen and then, you know, maybe have the live, Facebook Live on your yeah. phone or your tablet or something like that. But we will be there. Or you can just come back and watch afterwards. That's uh, HSN, of course, yes, the Facebook course. Live with it being online. But then that's all that I'm going to do with that one there. Let's blend it out a little bit more. And the reason I'm using cardstock to rest my fingers on mm -hmm. is because of the oils within my finger, with it being water reactive, yep. if I use my hands to hold it down, it's going to lift it up. Nice. Now, there's times that that could look quite cool. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, you're not going to get an actual fingerprint. So no one, no one can nick your, you know, your fingerprints, you know, <laughs> off of that. But um, you are going to get that finger tipped effect, uh, full bleaching effect when it comes to your card, which we don't want. But then there we go. So we've got our pink tulip and we've got our damson wine within that one there. Yep. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this one here. And now I want to, so I'm going to then go on to this side. So this side here, this is the deboss side. So this is where the design goes in to your folder. Yep. And then I've got some water in our right. spritzing tool and I'm going to spritz onto my folder. And then what I'm going to do is making sure that obviously we're going to go inside into the water. I'm going to go back and do it the way I'd done it earlier on, resting onto my opposite side. Yeah. And then I'm going to press. Can you see how that squelches oh, already? Nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this one through and let's take our plastic, we're going to take our magnetic, we're going to run that one through. So this isn't going to be sort of like a perfect uh, embossed full bleaching effect. You know, you're not going to get a perfect because it's water, it pleases itself. But then what you will end up with is if we lift this oh, one up, wow. I'm going to set that to the side yeah. and then I'm still going to leave it for a moment or two because it's still wet and the, the same concept goes, the longer you leave it, yeah. the more the ink is going to be lifted up from your folder. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is give that a little bit of a dry yeah. and then what we can do, once again, I would, I would certainly leave it a bit longer, we don't have time for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab off any excess water that's there. So let's dab that off. And then if I lift it up, can you see how the water's gone into all the areas of the 3D yeah. boss? So that would continue to kind of penetrate into the cardstock, create that sort of resist effect. So the longer you leave it, the more effective it'll be. But it picks up the lines from the emboss and even into some of the petals, into the leaves. Harder to see when it comes to the pink tulip, yeah. but it is working its way around. Looking lovely. And then what I'm going to do, I'll tell you what I am going to do, because it'll be better. I'm going to give this a really quick waft okay, of okay. heat to dry out slightly. Lovely. Uh, a lot of love for these embossing folders. Remember guys, uh, we've got great deals on embossing folders for you. You can do that wonderful craft kit as well for you. Great saving of uh, 40 cents today. Don't forget as well, if you want to get in touch, comment below on the comments, uh, YouTube, Facebook, soon you get on the socials. Uh, don't forget as well, guys, if you're brand new to us here at Crafters TV, hello, how are you? Hey, you may be wondering, what's the platinum price? How do I get a platinum price? Well, it's all our club inspired. It's our way of saying thank you for shopping with us here at Crafters TV. Remember, the more you spend, the more points you get. Every time you shop with us, you're going to gain your points. The first time you shop with us on Club Inspire, you're going to get that 20% off as a welcome plus 250 bonus points, which means you'll get 5% off every status, every shopping, because you become a bronze member. Once you've got 500 points, you'll work your way up to silver, and you'll get faster dispatch, and you'll get 10% off all your orders. Once you get 750 points, that's gold, you're going to be getting 15% off your orders, and even faster dispatch. And then once you've got 1,500 points, that takes you to platinum, that extra 20% off even the fastest of fastest dispatches. Plus, you're gonna get that incredible price you see there on screen every single time. And remember, Club Inspire discounts happen every single time you take a transaction with us. Not just on limited things, not just on our little bits and bobs, everything, including our brand new friends and family who are saying hello to us here at Crafters TV.
fab. Thanks for that, That's George. Right. It just gave me a time to get this sorted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with my metallic pigment ink pads. These are on the show as well, yep. and this is the rose gold. So it's not a strong colour. Um, well, it is if you start to build up the intensity, but to actually go direct, it's not initially strong. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and very, very lightly, I don't want a lot, I very lightly want to then ink the edges because what's happened is because the colour has been picked up by the water and yep. basically in some ways discarded, we're left with more of a a uh, fibrous look so where it's light into here obviously that is still a bit color but that is we bleached the color out so yep. it's more of that instant white cardstock right so therefore that's going to pick up some of the rose gold a lot more as if the 3d detail will as well so all that i'm doing is lightly and i know i've gone over it a few times but i am doing it very very lightly so the 3D element is going to pick up the ink, but then the other part that's going to pick up the ink as well is also where the full bleaching effect has happened. Uh, Crafty AJ has just gone, Craig, it's Tuesday. Monday Makers was yesterday. Oh, did I say Monday Makers? Yeah. Oh, uh, launch party. Yeah, it just dawned on me. Yeah, I never even twigged that I said it either. It's Tuesday already. Where is, it is. Where is it going? Hey, who knows? Who knows indeed? Um, Anna Hicks on Facebook. I like this, Craig. Very pretty. I Thank like you. It. I like it a lot. Uh, and loads of love heart emojis. Oh, bless okay. you. But then look at that. Beautiful. Now, if you want to use your waxes, you could do. I do. But you know, your uh, Matidas ink pads are a good substitute. And then all that I'm going to do is I've taken some of our purple cardstock, three inches by eight. We can then, uh, well, I need to trim this down a little bit more. Uh, where's my guillotine, which is here. So what did I say that was? Three by eight. So I need to trim it down to two and a quarter. So I'm going to come in right up against the embossed line. Yep. Which if I bring that in, it should just take me in there and no more and then I said eight didn't I yeah so I need to come down to seven and three quarters that's then going to sit onto there perfect pop that one on and then let's bring my tape runner in and then what I've done is you'll see me in a moment I've got some pattern paper George and I'm yep. going to bring in this card blank it's a different shape card blank. So what I've done, white smooth stamping card. I've cut it to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Yep. And I've scored in at three. So it's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I've scored in at three and a quarter. Yep. So that's going to give me this overlap that we can see here. So if I bring this one onto here, so a purple, um, Centura Pearl. And then with this one here, what I've done is this is just some of our pattern paper, four and a half by seven and three quarters. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to layer these ones together with a little strip that I've done and one of our sentiments from our sentiment stamps. It's a lovely card. And I mean, there's some great deals on today's show. Uh, don't forget, guys, we've got to do demo of the show. Your chance to decide who what, or what is the best card. Uh, we, in fact, it's going to be an open three-horse race this evening because we've got Debbie Fisher from this morning, uh, Craig now, and then Debbie Robinson's card from launch party later on tonight. So two wins demo of the day. Well, that's anybody's guess. It's going to be a three horse race, which I like sometimes. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? it I'm, is. I'm going to be sandwiched in this in between the two Debbies, a Debbie sandwich. Well, what can you say? About what a can sandwich? you say? What is your favorite kind of sandwich? Uh, probably chicken and bacon. Yeah, a bit of salad. Yeah, I do like salad, but sometimes I, I, I just love the taste of you chicken like and bacon. Mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. I, yep. get I get you on that. I do like a tuna crunch. Yeah. A bit of tuna, a bit of crunchiness. Bit of crunch. Yeah. It's a bit of bite, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Onions and cucumber, not like a crunchy. Mm. Or croutons. Cucumbers just make it soggy. 
No. Do you think? Cucumbers. Well, yeah, but don't you... No, I don't yeah. know. I'm not saying I don't like them. No, no, I, I just, yeah, they make it a little bit sunny. I do, I just, I, I just think they're a bit of a pointless veg, uh, vegetable, to be honest with you. I love a cucumber. No, no offence to any cucumber lovers out there. Or any cucumbers watching. Or any cucumbers watching. But no, I, 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 what's, you know, it's just full of water. As again, I, I do enjoy them in my little uh, prawn cocktail or that, but really, cocktail. on a sandwich that, you know. Makes me feel better about my health. About my life choices. <laughs> Eating a cucumber? Yeah, I'm yeah. being good, I'm being healthy. Okay. I, well, I think so. You that's think what so? I tell myself. Yeah, that's what you, well, that's, the main thing is, that's what you tell yourself. Yeah. Then, and if you're happy. I'm happy with that. And you're content, and a cucumber fills that void, you do you. You do you, hon, as Joe would say. <laughs> I mean, what can you say? A cucumber a fills cucumber the void. A day, keeps the doctor away. There uh, you look go. at that, just for you. It's got legally blonde vibes. That does actually, doesn't it? Legally yeah. blonde. It does. Uh, right. Is that going to be demo of the show? That is the question I'm asking you, me and George A. Gid, asking you, I'm like, I sound like Alan Partridge, uh, asking you, the wonderful viewers. So let's have a look at what Craig Laird of Crafters TV fame, or should I just say crafting fame? Uh, has made the show because there's been some beautiful demonstrations. Debbie Robinson is getting herself ready. I can see her. Look, it's like a coiled spring. Uh, right, Craig, what have you made for us in this show? It's quite a few to choose from. Well, having, this is the good thing with uh, having uh, that extra hour. Yeah. So here we go. So, oh, domino effect. Oh, Craig. I see the juggling lessons are going well, mate. Yeah, isn't it just? There you go. There we go. We've got there. Right, yo. So, number one, number 3D one. embossing folder. Yep. Number two, with our stamp and stencils. Yep. Number three, with our 3D embossing folders and gilding wax. Number four, with our 7x7 seven seven stencils. And then number five is with our 3D embossing folders as well. So, one, one, two, three, four, or five. It's up to you. Who will decide? Who will win? You decide. Uh, you've, you've, you've ruffled some feathers. Gilmore on YouTube, I love cucumber sandwiches. Just saying. Four Hollies on YouTube has also gone, a pointless vegetable, Craig. Pointless vegetable. And uh, Sharon I'm not saying Sipar I don't like them. On YouTube went a pretty car. It is indeed. Uh, right. Talking of pretty things, let's have a look at our wonderful uh, um, silhouette stencil oh, cards. Oh, sorry. Pretty th what did you think I meant you? I thought the camera was coming back to me when you said talking about pretty things. If it's John in the corner, that's where everybody wants to see. Lovely John in the corner. Look at his little No face. one puts John in a corner. No one puts John in the corner. Um, what are we talking about? Stencils, that's what we're talking about. The silhouette stencils, you've seen these. We've got time for one more demo. Uh, we've got here a great collection. Everything designed to create something beautiful. Uh, you've got the negatives, the positives. You've got the wonderful florals here. You've got the moon. You've got the uh, fairy stencils. You've got the sentiments. This is the magic in your heart. You've also got you are the one I love. Uh, again, you've got a wonderful couple there walking down the promenade. There they are, having a great time. Not jealous. Uh, there they are at Blackpool Beach, looking lovely. Uh, you've also got the moon and the clouds. You've also got the wonderful swing, the wonderful, beautiful moments. It's a beautiful moment, hey, hey. Uh, again, I just want to remind you that this here has been made by using the swing, the little girl and the dog, all different, or cat, should I say, uh, all together, be made to create your own little personal thing. You've also got the uh, wonderful Believe in Yourself Under the Sea, as a lot of you know, sing this every time you see this collection, uh, with the dolphin, Turtle, Little Mermaid. That, her name, by the way, is uh, Angela. She's a mermaid. Uh, you've also got, as well, the wonderful uh, Follow Your Dreams. Follow Your Dreams with a unicorn. Uh, dream big. Dream like a unicorn. And the wonderful uh, Strength and Love. The wonderful unicorn, uh, unicorns. <laughs> giraffes and elephants. Uh, again, great little collection and a great price. £50.66, $58.30. Craig, this is just a great set to have fun with and play with, isn't it? It is, yeah. The thing is, you've got the individual stamps, so if you want to use them on their own, you can do, but then because you've got that positive and the negative of the stencils, which you are using them both together in each technique that you do, however, if you want to use them separate, you absolutely can do, but it's such a good set. 
Yeah. So, which one are you going to be showing for us? Are you going to do a little demo for us? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Silhouette stencils. Oh, gosh. <laughs> te te less than ten, or 10 minutes to go with the stencil. Think, oh, gosh. Ooh. I think you... Oh, um, technique to it. But do you know what? Because I think we've got silhouette stencils. Right. But he's getting the backgrounds, isn't it? Right. And he's using those inks to get the best out of those stencils uh, and those stamps. Because they are a great collection. Um, do you know what? I love them as well. In fact, let's take a look at while you're getting that ready for us, Craig. In fact, because stenciling, it may be an idea on the tips and the stencil because there's some great stencils on this show for you as well. Uh, we've also got as well the wonderful, uh, the wonderful pigment ink background seven stencil selections. Not, I've not seen these before, before actually, uh, but they've came out today. I love, uh, not came out today, came out a while ago, but it's my first time seeing these today. Uh, the wonderful Love Hearts. Uh, yeah, I love this collection. Beautiful, so much fun. Uh, scattered foliage as well. Again, a great little collection. Uh, also as well, the cute florals. Beautiful collection. Abstract swirls, we love this. Also the rosewood florals. So much you can do with these. Beautiful butterflies. And finishing off polka dots. Uh, a great little collection. And I just think so inexpensive for what you're getting there. £25.15, uh, $33.39. And that incredible platinum price at £20.21. We've also got £26.71. Uh, Craig, we have got a demo of the show over there. Uh, yes, we have indeed. Number... One was your oh, demo the, the show. first one. The first one. Number one. Fab. So that was with the uh, the lily. Mm. So we've gone with that one there. So that's with the embossing. So the letterpress technique and yes, doing the uh, embossing. So well, double embossing double because embossing. it's embossing folder and then the embossing powder. Ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. Craig Laird. Uh, guys, another everyday uh, pattern for you. Again, these large 12 by 12 stencils, they are humongous. I said it to you earlier, and Craig will tell you this, everybody will tell you this, you don't need to use a whole stencil, you can pick and choose. But what a great stencil, it's a massive. Uh, you've got the wonderful wood grain effect. You've also, as well, got the swirls. You've got the uh, wonderful dots and spots. You've got the uh, natural stone. You've also got the abstract zigzags. Let me just put this bit of black cardstock behind there so you can see these incredible uh, abstract zigzags. Look at that. How good does that look? And finishing off the Chesterfield leather. A great little collection and a great price. £19.17, $23.88. Um, again, a smaller set of stencils, but again, what a great little collection for you. The Botanical Gardens, again, Beautiful little collection, which are going to look great, and a great price as well, £11.98. Uh, sorry, I pulled the wrong one. I don't know how I did that. I pulled the wrong one out. Uh, you've also got as well the confetti hearts. You've got the zigzag stencil. You've also got the uh, circles. Squirkles. You've got as well the wonderful stars and the spots. And to finish off the collection, the botanical leaves, which we started with. Uh, £11.98, $15.90, and that incredible Clue Inspire price. Craig, you have kindly got together another silhouette stencil for us. Ten minutes, can we do it? Well, it's just sort of. It's not a full demo. What it is, is using the stamp and stencil, so the follow your dreams. What I've already done is I've taken the little... Uh, sorry, it's not the uh, follow your dreams. It must be the... Uh, so the one with the fairy, so we've got uh, neither that, neither that, uh, so it must be last but by no means least, magic is in the heart. Yeah. So we've taken the lovely fairy. Now what I've already done beforehand, is I'll show you the finished sample once we've done this, I've stamped out the fairy. I stamped out the fairy with one of our grey pigment ink pads and then I sprinkled on some silver embossing full, uh, powder and then I melted that beforehand. So as if we just do stamping but done it with the grey pigment ink pad and then put our uh, clear, uh, sorry, our silver embossing folder over the top. So you can see we've got that shiny look. Then what I'm going to do, do, and actually it just so happens that it is the same colours as before that I'm using, and that is our pink tulip, and well, I'm using damson wine for this one. 
And then what I'm going to do is you get a few stencils within this set, and one of them is this little circle. Now you could be using your sprays, or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some of my dotty tape runner yep. onto the back, and then I'm going to then press that into place. So that it, all that it's doing is it's, it's just holding the stencil in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of blend out. So I'm still holding the stencil just to make sure. If you want to be doubly sure, then of course you can use your temporary sprays. But I'm going out and I'm pulling out. And the reason I'm pulling out like this one is because what I want to do is I do want to try and get those sponge lines coming out. Yeah. So we can then pull all of this one out. So keep going all the way around to pull it out. And then I'm going to start going a little bit further. So we are getting a little bit lighter the more we go out. Mm -hmm. And this is, as I say, this is with <coughs> the pink tulip. Um, Hannah's just said something, and maybe you can reassure her on this one, Craig. I always worry that using ink pads on the embossing folders will ruin them. No, not at all. Not at all. Some of them will stain them. Some of them will stay in your folder, but as long as you've wiped off your excess ink, it's not it's not going to do. It, it's only colour. It's yeah. only, do you know what I mean? It's not as if you're putting, you're trying to emboss a thin piece of wood or something yeah, like yeah. that. Anything that's excess pressure, that's the only way you, you can damage them by by popping inks onto them. Anything like that, it's not going to do any damage. What? Soever. As I say, the worst that's going to happen is it's going to stain them. But as long as you've got that colour off, then it's not going to affect any future embossing going forward. So don't ever, ever worry about that. Don't you worry. Don't worry. Just be happy. And keep crafting on. <laughs> keep crafting. Keep crafting. Um, oh, we could do that at the end, eh? Yeah. Keep, keep crafting. crafting. Hey dear, what's that from? Strictly Come Dancing. Never heard of it. Uh, guys, loads of you loving today's show. Don't forget, coming up for you, 6 p.m. here in the UK, 1 p.m. over on the East Coast, and your Pacific time, 10 a.m. Uh, guys, we've got a wonderful launch party. We're having a party. Uh, myself and Debbie Robinson, she's in the building. She is decantering glue. She's, she, yes, she is decantering glue into another bottle. She is crazy, 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 crazy. That's uh, what she, she does on a Saturday night. Oh, that's the what she does on a glue. Tuesday, the country in the glue. Uh, we're going to be having a launch party looking at craft kit number 45. It's launching brand new today. Remember, there's some great deals on craft kits at the moment, including that one in the show, box 39. And also, you'll get it got a good deal. You've got until Sunday to get that. You're buying two, you're getting one free, 37, 43, and 44. Uh, but here we go. This is the big reveal, everybody. There's the moon. Oh, ah, woo. I mean, look, look at that. that. Isn't that absolutely spectacular? Beautiful. Then what you would do is you would come along with your stencils, like I showed you earlier on with the earlier demonstration. So I would go over with maybe the midnight or maybe a grey or a black. Again, that's entirely up to you. But by layering it up, George, you yeah. could then end up oh. with something that looks like that. So you can see how you can then go. So to do this, all you need to do is go back to the first demonstration that I showed you with these ones and then just replace, obviously, the stencil that I'd done with the dolphin. You're going to use this one. And it's the same technique just by layering up with the colour. So here you go. So that's, that's what these sorts of stencils are in there. They're not a mistake. They're not anything like that. It's for you to then do your effects with. Perfect. And you get clouds as well. Clouds you do indeed. Uh, you're getting that as well in your um, wonderful embossing uh, craft kit, if you were wondering as well. Uh, right. The 3D frame embossing for a 12 piece collection launched a few weeks ago. That wonderful uh, 12 piece collection. And remember, we tell you time and time again this you get those wonderful different sizes. Uh, did you like my beautiful head there? It's great, isn't it? Uh, you're getting the different in sizes. You're getting the 5x5, five five, you're getting the slimline, you're getting the A5, and you're also getting the A6 as well. It's a great little collection that loads of you loving. Remember, you can buy them uh, individually. When we spend over £40, 40 you're getting 10% off. But that wonderful price of $53.49, you may as well go for the bundle. That is there, the fancy floral wreath. You've also got the elegant frame trio. They do remind me of pocket watches. Uh, the exquisite blooms. Or oh, you can use that wonderful credit card to save the date. Uh, entangled roses. 
and luscious lilies. We've also got as well the wonderful elegant flourish, swirling lace, classic lace, lovely lace, embellished lace. This is not a lace, it's intricate filigree. And to finish it off, elegant squirrels. Swirls. Uh, it's £53.49, $70.95. What was that? Uh, again, that platinum price as well is incredible. Uh, let me just go and get you something a little bit special because, guys, it's Tenor Tuesday. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get the £10 out. Uh, today, <laughs> great deals for you on the website. Look at this one we've got for you. Pulled it off the web for you. The uh, Crash's Companion Station Stack Storage Box. Tenner, ten pounds, ten dollars, uh, ten euros, ten pesetas, whatever you're spending, this could be yours. It's the wonderful Crafts Companion Stash and Storage Box, designed for all you crafty friends out there. You can make it personalised to whatever you need. You've got those wonderful clasp lips, it's clear, it's see-through, you take off the lid. And you open it up inside, you've got all these wonderful compartment extravaganza. You can do all the wonderful divides. You can make it as big as a small, and as well, the uh, vertical, the horizontal ones move as well. So if you need them a bit smaller, you can do that. Tenor and Club Inspire discount on top of that. So if you are platinum, eight pounds, eight dollars. Ridiculous, you can stack them up. I mean, look what you can put in it. There's so much room, and they're so deep as well. Huge, uh, just for today, 10 of Tuesday. I'm gonna be getting a couple of them. Uh, loads of love getting in touch today as well for everybody. Uh, Craig, I love your shirt, that color suits you. Uh, Lee, Lynn, Liam, wow, and Sherry, spectacular, that card demonstration. Craig, when are you back, my good friend? Right here, CTV, I am back with George. We're going to be back tomorrow for yeah. a launch date with a super cool launch date, and then we're both on Creative Cravens as well. Um, then, if you're watching live, I'm going to be on HSN's Facebook page in half an hour, half past five here in the UK, 12.30 Eastern. But then, Facebook Live from my house later on tonight, half nine here in the UK, 4.30 Eastern, 1.30 Pacific time. Uh, I'm going to be doing an hour with the Farmstead collection from Violet Studios and then an hour giving you a preview and we'll be making something from tomorrow's launch day products. We will indeed. It's going to be fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Have see fun ya. with HSN. Uh, I'm going to be back in an hour's time uh, with our launch party. Debbie Robinson is in the building. Get the uh, Pepsi Cherry in because she loves it. She We've loves got, it. She loves a cherry. She's brought the guys with the vending machines and went, here, love more cherries. Uh, guys, I'll see you back in an hour as we launch our brand new craft kit, number 45, check out your baskets, it's going to be a good one. I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>